Oh, hey, there's John. Hey. What was that? I don't know. So we Hello. 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 There he is. <laughs> Are you at home, John? No, I'm in uh, Santa Clara. I have a work thing I have to go to. Yeah. Well, you can't hear me. No, you're you're way loud. Oh, yeah. I'm on a laptop. Let me turn myself down one second. No, 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 no. we got you. We got you. Okay. Say something. Check something. Something. He also turned himself down. Good. He never learns. Never listens. Say something now. Something. Some something now. Okay. Leave yourself at a hundred. We'll adjust you on our end. Okay. okay. So I'm, just still, I'm not going to touch myself. I'm just adjusting everyone else. I think a lot of them are left at 200% from when the speaker died. 200%? Yeah. I 200%. John was at 200% until you fixed it. Oh. Because that's a full, turns, full he bar. He himself way down on his home computer because he knows he's allowed at home. Oh. Well, if 100% is maximum, how can you go past maximum? That makes no yeah, sense. That's what I was saying. He's like 200%. I'm like, what? You get an amp that goes up to 11. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where was I? I don't know. Where were you? So let's start. Um, two weeks from now, you're gone, right? You're not here in two weeks, right? For what? DD. You're out of town. Oh, during the week? I don't know. I'll check. Long spring. I think we're <clears throat> going towards the end of the week, I think. But I don't know. Said you I'll double check. Tuesday. Oh, okay, well, then, well she knows because like, she's got yeah. the calendar. Well, I was going to say that's actually perfect because I can't play in two weeks. So oh, okay. That's good. So we will play next week. We won't play the following week. Okay. Also, Jimmy has to paint his nails paint next week. Next week. Mm. I dare you, Jimmy. Do it. Mm. No. I had to go work for a whole week with uh, blue nail polish with glitter. The kids painted my uh, nice. thing over at Arvada when we were still with the uh, MSDM team. Really? Yeah. That's cute. Anyone say anything? Nope. <laughs> I'm like, ah, that's just Christian. Uh huh. Well, that's because they know better than to, than to question Christian. Right? Mm -hmm. Good reason for everything, right? He walks around with Thor's hammer. What do you think is going to happen? Sorry. started and stopped in my head like seven times already. Where did we leave off last time? I'm just like... Okay, so you had the reveal that Salk was talking to you, um... Salk? Uh, Hancock. Hancock. And yes. like, EMT kind of like tried to do his BS on him. And yes. He's like, F you guys, I'm out. And then Soul and EMT and Deus were talking to Hancock about, hey, who's this guy that was crashing the party? Thank you. Why are you hanging around with him all the time? Thank you. That's how we ended last week. Yes. Uh, majority of last week was kind of a fun... Not a beach episode, but not far off. A um, a Sid's birthday episode, where it kind of was like a setup for multiple things. But not a lot happened other than that, right? Now that I think about it. Yeah, we're not talking about the like money and yadas and stuff like that. Yeah, nothing else happened. Yeah, we're talking about us. Yes, Miller was going to kill Kevin. So. Yeah. Oh, that was that was so funny. <laughs> Especially Sid having or not Sid Soul having like no poker face whatsoever <laughs> nope. and being the worst possible liar. He tried so hard. <laughs> it's so, so great. Um, oh my god, I had the best idea earlier. What about a druid multiclassed with a necromancer? But the only thing they do is reanimate and control dead animals and dead plants. How cool would that be? <laughs> Yeah. That's pretty badass. That's like the most Golgari thing I can think of if you're playing Magic, Black and Green. Mm. Yeah. They tend to live in sewers and and reclaim corpses and turn them into zombies and stuff. Hmm. Like you do. I mean, somebody's gotta do it. Yeah. 
their whole their whole thing is the cycle of life and death because green is like abundance and life and black is like mm. you know death and destruction so the two of them together is an interesting combo uh, could you imagine if they were let loose in the redwood forest what necromancer druids yeah to have like an army an army of petrified redwoods at your disposal? That would be cool. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that awesome thought. That's in Washington, isn't it? I don't remember. No. I th There's a California. Think... Yeah, Northern California. Northern California. Yeah, it's the one where you can drive through the big one. The big one with the, that they put, they build a hole into it. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, those are petrified, aren't they? I forgot how that happened. And got scared to take, yeah. Yeah, So you have uh, the awakened trees that Ao can make, but then petrified undead trees. Ooh. That'd be more like a wood golem, I think. Would the animated trees and the dead trees get along? Christmas For would be wild. Anything made with Awaken is charred. After the month, it's basically the, the, the description says, depending on how you treated them, they may or may not be buddy-buddy with you anymore. Uh-oh. Okay. So, anywho. I guess we're going to pick up the next morning at your keep. Um, you left the name Okutoro's Castle, didn't you? Yeah, I feel like we didn't change really it. change it. Okay. Especially because that was, I mean, everyone knew it as that. Yeah. All the I, I couldn't remember if you guys planned to change it or not, but I guess not. Huh? Yeah, I don't think so. I just slapped a Cliff Hangers ink sign on it. Under new meaning. So brought to you by? <laughs> yeah. You did it <laughs> Billy? Huh? Billy did? No, I was joking. But, but... I mean, I would have laughed, but... It seemed like a Millie thing should have taken. Yes, but out. Millie wasn't there for most of the time that had spent the keep. Like, all the downtime that was A.O. Oh, hi, Phil. Ew. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. So with that, we begin. Okay. So what's everyone doing? Wake up in the morning do yoga and calisthenics. You don't wake up feeling like P. Diddy? No. Okay. God, I hope not. <laughs> I know, right? Brush your teeth Straight from the jail. bottle. <laughs> Brush your teeth from the bottle of Jack. No. Catch it. No. Soul's probably a little hungover from the party, so sleeping in his bed, but he's awake. Sleeping in the bed, but awake. Well, I mean, he's like still in bed, just being like, yeah. <laughs> Existing. It's just like me for real. Because <clears throat> nope. that's wondering why she woke up next to a potted plant. <laughs> oh yeah. But then, but then no, no, the memories start flooding back, and it all makes sense. She's in the potted plant, isn't she? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> it's sure it's they, softer they than the floor. <laughs> I think they sucked you into the plant, didn't they? <laughs> <Wasn't that laughs> right? Were they planting a potato? <gasps> That's a hate crime. No, don't, don't do it. <laughs> um, yeah, so. So uh, with that in mind, she's going to go take a, a bath. She's going to go get cleaned up. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Nope. I was going to ask what else is everyone doing, so go ahead. Oh, uh. Soul eventually drag himself out of bed and go get some breakfast on the common <clears> area <throat> to uh, sober up a little bit. Nice. Oh, you were drunk too. Do I remember Soul getting drunk? Uh, were you doing the keg stand? Somebody said you did. A keg stand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was really on in the evening. So <laughs> That's how you knew it was gonna be a good night. <laughs> I forgot who volunteered that Soul was doing. Was that you? No, it wasn't me. No, I think said. it might have been. John. Might have been John. <laughs> uh, Kevin would have fallen asleep on the roof with Millie. Like, just passed out, kind of there. Not just from tired, being tired. Would Millie have left him on the roof? No, oh, they, they had come back down to the party, remember, John? No, but then you disappeared off. Did we end up coming back down after you just after you went invisible? We, yeah, so we had, we had come down to where Sid was. Then Kevin tried to force Sid and Millie to talk, so Millie turned invisible and ran away. Yeah. Um, but she never went back up to the roof after that. Oh, I would have I would have looked for you and if I found you if you were still at the party I just would have like 
chill with you silently as silent as Kevin can chill. Yeah, then, then I guess Kevin would just be like passed out on a picnic table in the courtyard or something. Yep, in my armor, so I'll take, uh, I'll be tired. One level of exhaustion. Oh boy. Because I wore my armor. I didn't, and let's say I went back to my room and took it off. I fell asleep in it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, if he didn't go back, then yeah. Makes sense. A good way to start the morning off. <laughs> Exhausted. Exhausted and armor with the beer sweats. <laughs> Speaking of beer sweats and being exhausted in armor, uh, Trog smashes up to him right now. Yeah, I can't. Like, I can't not send access me your my... Message. Send me your number. How many no. times do we have to tell you this? Just no, I can do number. that, yes. Yeah, so I'm like, I literally cannot access yeah. Just my give us your Don't tell Alex what it is, and then we'll send you out. <laughs> This it's is a number between one and a thousand. He's the enemy in our midst right now. We're playing his team. Oh. I mean, I guess Drew is also the enemy in the midst <laughs> because he's on the Peregrines, but yeah. I don't even know what our touch is, so I don't know. Oh, Drew's here. Yay! Would you tell us? No. Good boy. The integrity. I don't know what to say, good boy, but good man. There you go. Well, you know, we all need a good boy every once in a while. <laughs> Your hair is real soft. Wow. You must take care of it. This is the first time in a while. Few months. <laughs> Does he condition? I do. Not anymore, ever since I got rid of the long hair. You mm -hmm. don't condition it at all? You just shampoo. Hmm? Ah, I condition my hair and I have shorter hair. Not that I'm special or anything. I just get lazy. I do. So I feel like I need to condition it also. I shampoo and condition. No. Body wash. Hair, body wash. Hair shampoo, body wash, and conditioner all in one? Yeah. Doesn't get any better than that. I love the where it's that bottle. It's like hair, shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Uh, motor oil, <laughs> uh, <laughs> just like the meme, but like the list just goes In like line. that long. <laughs> yeah, it's just like 37 different things. <clears throat> just put Vicks Vapor Rub in your hair at this point. You know, there's people who put Vaseline in their hair, so that's close. <laughs> okay. Uh, I know people that, um, what is it? They will buy coconut cooking oil from the market and use that as body oil. Yep. Oh, you do that? Absolutely. Okay. I actually it works. Somebody, and, and do not do not confirm or deny this if this is you, but somebody used to tell me that they used coconut oil to masturbate with. Like that's what they would use. They would get that and masturbate with it. Like and not the masturbation, okay. but stay out of black people's business. All right. That coconut oil thing goes long long time for black people. To think okay. in black it's culture. It's amazing. It's amazing for for dry skin. It's amazing. I would. Well, I wouldn't recommend throwing it in your hair, which no. some people say you should. I don't recommend it. Nah, not for my hair. No, you need oh, a crock. Oh, you need nice. to crack a raw egg over your hair and uh, over your hair and just you know massage that in. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I'll, I'll just stick with the Shea Moisture brand. They have good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, so you said motor oil is like the foreign one. <laughs> like, God. All right. Um, I'm easily distracted today. I've been a little loopy today. Just a heads up. Um, <laughs> Who's at breakfast? Good morning, everyone. So, so there. Uh, hey, you soul. Did you get any sleep last night? Uh. Doesn't feel like it. Yeah, yeah. Point, but yeah. yeah. I woke up in the courtyard. Uh, luckily, nothing was on my face. Uh, sometimes when I fall asleep someplace where I shouldn't, yeah, something always ends up on my face. But uh, all in all, uh, you know, uh, successful night, I think. Uh, although, uh, I didn't see the professor off. You think he had a good time? Uh, it seemed like he had a good time. Uh... I know he's a little stressed uh, when we were getting him there, but I think I eventually uh, settled in and had some fun. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, I might be seeing something that's not there, uh, but uh, something going on with all y'all and, and Billy and uh, the professor, I, I, y'all just been acting so weird about it. We were, we, like, we told 
people when we were doing the... Hmm? No. Um, no, no, no. I don't know anything that you guys did. No, no, we didn't tell okay. anybody about the exorcism. Yeah, because we're was... keeping it a secret. Uh, I don't know. We just never talked about yeah, it. I guess we never <laughs> talked about it. Yeah, I mean, that, yeah. The three of you never discussed to discuss the aftermath <laughs> or not. And then the only the three of you were aware because you were the only three who had noticed anything unusual to then take action on it. Well, I mean, ever since Millie reconnected with Ao, they seemed a bit different. And I think after dealing with the professor, I think Millie hopefully will be back to normal now. So I don't think we have to worry about her anymore. Wait, uh, dealing with the professor, what do you mean? Uh, well, we had a talk with the professor and Millie and just kind of figured some stuff out, you could say. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, things would be right moving forward. Got it, got it. Like some parenting advice. Sort of like that. All right, all right. Uh, you think, yeah, Millie just needs, like, a, a parent in her life? I mean... Yeah, I feel like DJ and I could be a good parent to Millie. No, I mean, I, I, not like it would be. Yeah, you get you get the wrong idea. I, I'm I'm a happily married man. I'm 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 just a parental figure is what I'm, what I'm trying to say. I love how defensive Kevin gets with that topic. <laughs> he doth protest so much. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but I won't say so. It was, uh, maybe, maybe just more parenting to Millie. You know? Yeah, she's still young. Yeah, but uh, I think Millie knows her way around the world still, too, so we don't want to be too uh, overbearing. Wait a second, so you're old, right? <laughs> so just kind of looks down at himself and goes, uh, yes, I have retired from the military. He's right, right. Baby. How old are you again? I don't think I ever asked that question. <laughs> I am 40. Oh, man. 40? Hey, 40? Hey, what, what, what age do people usually retire from, from the service? Oh, well, I joined at a really young age, so I was able to finish my tours uh, probably a little earlier than most people do, but wait, it, for the Carlian Army. The, the mil in the military that you get to go on a tour? That sounds like fun. Uh, I thought you guys were, like, fighting people and stuff. Oh, there's fighting on the tours, Kevin. That doesn't sound like a fun tour. I, I wouldn't want to go on any tours like that. Oh, I thought you liked fighting, right? Were you no, scared I, of fighting? no, no, no. Me? Scared of fight? <laughs> That's funny, Saul. No, no, I'm just saying that, you know, uh, yeah, we always, uh, back when the, we were in the village, DJ and I always planned if we ever got out of there somehow, we wanted to book a tour to go see things, you know? Uh, it's something that, you know, you plan when you, when you, I guess, want to stop working for a bit and you want to, like, tour around. That makes sense. Probably a little less fighting on uh, your theoretical tour here. Yeah, I just didn't think there was fighting on tours, but I guess if you book a tour for fighting, that's a pretty cool tour. Yeah, I'm sure they have tours for everything. Yeah. Well, anyway, regardless of the tour, and, uh, being that you're so old and such, uh... And maybe, you know, uh, you might think about, you know, uh, kind of being a father figure to, to Millie. I mean, you're in the, the, the Garlickian army. Uh, Millie's also in the Garlickian army. And, uh, you know, uh, maybe there's a lot you can teach her. Uh, I, I mean, I'd love to, but, uh, you know, I don't know if uh, Millie will ever see me as, like, a father figure. You know, I figured the fact that she tried to kill me and such. Uh, not purposely, though. Not purposely. But, but, you know, uh, her parents are dead, and uh, maybe, uh, you know, if, if uh, you know, she, it might be a good idea if there's a more of a father person in her life. And maybe that could be you, so that's all I'm saying. I mean, do you have any kids? Not that I know of. Well, why wouldn't you know of them? Uh, just some old military humor. But, oh. uh I understand the sentiment, Kevin. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and be, at the very least, a good friend to Millie. Um, I think she does need us to be there for her in different ways. So uh, maybe some sort of father figure could help out too. But uh, yeah, I think we just need to be her friend. 
Right, right. Well, well, I think it'd be smart if you were a father figure too. Maybe, maybe a little bit more than a friend. And uh, you know, if if I can give you any advice from one father to you know a potential new father, uh, only hit your kids when it's actually acceptable, right? Meaning like they're not doing something right, hit them. Right? They're not doing their chores. That's a good time to hit them. They break something, eh, not necessarily right to hit them. Then, you know. <laughs> Right, you gotta think of it, it being a father kind of like being in the military. Yeah, uh, you know, if you do something wrong, gotta be disciplined. And I think a strong left hand is a good way to discipline a child. My father did that to me, and his father to him. And you turned out great, so that makes sense to me. <laughs> oh, think so. Yeah, of course. Anyway, yeah, yeah well, I'll, I'll I'll let it go for right now, but uh. So maybe I'll try to make uh, you know this this type of father uh, daughter relationship happen with you two. Might be good. It certainly will be interesting. Yeah, definitely interesting. Anyway, uh, what are we supposed to be doing today? Now that the professor's gone, shouldn't we be planning something like for the fight with the uh, with all the shogun? Sure, there's something going on, but right now my head hurts too much to uh, recall whatever we're doing. Um, I haven't seen Kenji around, and I think we'll have to take uh, our lead from him when it comes to <clears throat> taking on the samurai. Yeah, yeah good point. Uh, all right, uh, well, I guess enjoy your breakfast. I'll just keep eating here in silence till someone else comes down. <laughs> so we'll cheers with his fork and continue eating. <laughs> Yeah, well, I guess about around, around that time then I'd uh, be done with my yoga, so I'd probably slide in for some waffles, too, or something. Do the yogurt. Do the yogurt, do the yoga, yeah. But now, this cassette's done with her, uh, with her washing up, so she's coming down with her wet hair is all, like, braided up and, like, nice two little cute buns, two massive buns on her head, and she's looking all glossy and smells like coconut. She's coming up to the table, wondering where the waffles are. You left behind, like, an entire mud puddle in the shower. <laughs> well, then we need a plumber, <laughs> if that's the case. I'm just gonna... You just see some of the, the castle stewards running by opposite of you going, 1093, 1093! <laughs> <laughs> get like a low level wizard student just move earth <laughs> yeah Damn, how, how, how deep did you bury how deep did you bury her <laughs> good morning cuz it watch out hmm? you, you stepped on a popper there's confetti all over your face now I don't think we took a full confetti poppers i'm so sorry no no <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. That's trying to warn you. Oh, it's horrible. Didn't this get cleaned up? Yeah, hey, I, I mean, it was cleaned up, but, you know, a lot of those things were hiding. I almost stepped on it when I came down this morning. Oh, it it's out. in my hair. It turns out that mixing with confetti is a shitload of glitter. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, you do look very sparkly right now. Oh, well, thank you, but this is more of an evening look, I suppose. But <laughs> I'll be back. I'll take another. Hmm, I'll take another bath. She just sort of sulks and goes back to the bathroom to so <laughs> cleaned up again. <laughs> I thought I was having a rough morning. Yes, though that's pretty good. How uh, vocal, <laughs> vocally yeah. upset oh, is uh, Cassette gonna be going down the halls like that? Oh well, she's definitely pouting and grumbly. Like if you <laughs> if you saw her, you knew she'd be upset <laughs> for sure. Then um, I'll say at that point, Millie can come out of her room uh, to head down towards to join everyone, and then would run into very sparkly Cassette in the halls, but not looking happy about the sparkliness. Um, so then Millie would just kind of 
look you up and down, and then wordlessly just press the digitate the glitter off your everywhere. <laughs> so you don't have to completely redo your morning. Oh, thank you! Oh, you saved me so much time. I'd have to go take another bath and do the whole regime all over again. You're so nice, Millie! Thank you! You're welcome. Nope. <laughs> and she, uh, Cassette will follow Millie back to the breakfast area. Oh, you're back, Cassette. Triple C. That was quick. Yeah. yeah. Right? Millie was so nice. She helped me out with the glitter. Oh, it's super nice. Hey, hey Mill Millie, how you feeling? Tired still. Hey, I, I, I was thinking, as I do think sometimes, I was thinking uh, me, you, and Saul should go down to town and do a little pampering today. What do you all think? I think I've had my fill of pampering for a good while. Hey, come on, it, it'll be fun. And just like, like you know, two hours of like a massage, some time to talk, you know, uh, I think it might be nice. Come on, don't say no. Eh, just say yes. It'll be so easy. And you know what? Uh, you can even play a prank on someone while you're down there. Just just not me. Or, or Saul. I'll have to pass. We went to the spa just a couple of weeks ago, and I'm still spot out. Okay, okay. Well, uh, uh, how about we go downtown and get some ice cream together? Hey, they have that here? Well, they have mochi. That's what we got uh, for Sid for the party. Yo, you want to go down the town and get some mochi? Not for breakfast, no. Not for no, no, so like after breakfast, like for lunch. <laughs> sure, if we're still floating around the castle by lunch, we could. Perfect, perfect. So you, you good with that too? Oh, yeah, sure. Awesome, awesome. And Kevin kind of winks to him. So it's going to give an obvious wink back. <laughs> <laughs> Just continues on her way in 20 passive perception. <laughs> yeah, well, did everyone enjoy the party last night? Yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed it. I didn't like the party crasher, though, but other than that... Party crasher? Who, who is the party crasher? Oh, uh, Hancock's plus one. He was talking to him all night, and then uh, Inti was all mad about it, but I don't know. I didn't see the guy. I mean, I, I, I didn't even notice him. Uh, uh, who is this guy? Did anyone get his name? Emmett Sulk. Emmett Sulk. Oh, Sulk. S-E-L-C-H. Sulk. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 so, Sulky. Yeah. So, the Sulky guy, what was, what was up with him? Well, uh, apparently he was a wet blanket, according to what Andy was saying. He was just <clears throat> asking questions about us, like, who are they? How cool are they? Can I get their autograph? You know, stuff like that. Very embarrassing. I mean, uh, yeah, it does sound kind of embarrassing, but also, uh, who wouldn't want to, like, see us? We are, we are pretty cool, and it sounds like what I hear from the town, we're getting, like, a, a really good name for ourselves. It's going to be great for business. Sure. Yeah, but this was a private party. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, good point. Good point. Did that, did, did Zulk even know the professor? I don't think so. I think the only person he knew was Hancock. Spent all night talking to him. Wait, did we say people could have plus ones? I think it's kind of assumed you can bring a plus one to a party. Did we send invitations? Who is in charge of invitations? I look at Kevin. I, I, no, I didn't even know about the party until, until yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in charge of anything. Well, that explains everything then. Yeah, so... I oh! 
Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I was supposed to be in charge. I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm not. Even, I don't even know if someone told me. It's just been a lot on my mind recently. And uh, okay, well, I, I dropped. I dropped a big one on that one. No, okay. No, it was perfect, Kevin. We had a great time. There's plenty of people there. Yeah, yeah. But this Zoki guy. I don't know. Uh, should we trust him? Well, should we trust Mr. Hancock? But I, yeah, Hancock, yeah, he's a good guy. Then I don't know, should we, by proxy, trust Mr. Silk? Well, I don't know. Uh, I guess a friend of a friend's or a friend of ours. I don't know. Let's just talk to Hancock. Hancock, did Hancock stay the night? He lives here. Wait, he lives here? We gave him a room? Oh, that's right. We did promise him a room. Hold on. <laughs> we, we trashed his house. <laughs> uh, Kevin screams at the top of his lungs. Hey, There's no response. Uh, look, anyway, he's down the hall, right? Or is he on the second floor? He has his own oh. little building that he constructed outside the keep. Uh, no, let, let me let me go get him real quick. Oh, actually, let me get one of the servants to get him. Hey, uh, servant person, you, you. No, no, not you, you. Yes. Hey, could you do us a good favor and go get Hancock for us? Uh, certainly, sir. Uh, What's your name? They're the only ones there, so they're not sure who else you might have been confusing them with, and they go to go find Hancock. Oh, okay. What was your name again, sir? They've already walked away. Oh, God. We're paying for our service, right? We're not having slaves? What did he say? Oh, yeah, we're, we're pay definitely paying all the... Okay, good, 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 good. I'm shocked that uh, Hancock didn't hear you, though. I feel like he hears everything around here. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he is a very perceptive person. Okay, sorry about that. I had to get some mead. All right. The need for mead. <laughs> the need for mead. Yes. <clears throat> Hi. Um, the, the servant returns. Uh, I'm sorry, Master. Um, Hancock did not answer. <laughs> okay, well, hmm. kind of weird. I guess he's free to leave and in, in, in return as he wishes, but... All right, well, let's put a pin in this one. Uh, uh, nothing to distrust now. Uh, again, like I said, a friend of a friend is a friend of mine. Wait, what? The servant pulls out a pin. They're confused where you want them to put it. Oh, what's that thing? Uh, a pin? Uh, oh, yeah. Could you uh, write down on a note, uh, check Hancock about his friend do you, the end. A, do you have a writing implement? Oh. Well, carry one around. well no. no. Uh, why would I carry a writing instrument? Oh, actually, I do. But it's in my bag. I just go write it down and put it on uh, the, the cold room thing. Oh, oh, okay. And they leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, since everyone's here, I, I guess we uh, we got to wait for Ken, but we got to figure out what's going on with this uh, our tech queen for the uh, for the uh, whatever ninja guy guys that we got to go kill. And the guy with the whole, uh, you know, with the hands and the feet that he stole. The samurai. That's right. Yeah, the yeah, samurai. That's right. Okay, anyone? Everyone here. Anyone got any ideas? Well, for the attack. Yeah, I mean, for Kenji, he said he was coming up with the. A plan. Does anyone talk to him recently? Is he, is he the available? Uh, he hasn't really been popping. I think we remember him saying something May. in the May. Yeah. yeah, but I haven't heard. Him. I'll check on him again. Okay. Okay, well, uh, I don't know. I feel like I gotta be doing something. Uh, it's gonna take a while. Why can't we just go deal with the, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the bee holder? Well, Kevin, um, yeah, I don't know if we should do the talk to the beholder yet. Um, well, we're not going to talk to the beholder. We're going to kill the beholder. 
Well, I, I don't know if you should do that. I mean, I, I'm sure that he's probably just an honest businessman trying to get a head in life, and Inti could probably talk to him about no, that. No, no way! Even the uh, well, your, your general, now I'm looking over at Billy, whatever his name was, he said uh, that's a scare monster, and it needs to be killed. Could be in Xenos. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the Xenomorph guy. Make Xenos as uh, as an alien. <laughs> nice. I'm just saying right, that we should go take out the beholder while we have the downtime before dealing with Kenji's thing. I'm just saying, how much stronger do we gotta get to go kill a beholder? I mean, look at all the things we've taken down. Uh, yeah, maybe this thing uh, isn't the best with the uh, people with the uh, really good minds, but. I feel like I'm strong enough to take it down. I mean, just poke its eyes out, right? Can't see you to hurt you. Probably a little harder than that, but I mean, if that's something we feel is pressing, but at the same time, I think there was some discussion about going to uh, Charlian to find more information on the Asians, like that uh, Emmett Selk fella that crashed our party last night. Wait, the Zulky guy? He's 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 an he's an, an Asian. We suspect so. What is going on with these Asians? I started to hear more and more about them. Well, that's why we need more information. They're even older than I am by a long shot, and they don't really have a lot of information in the books that we've seen so far. So the only place in the world that might have more information on them than we've already seen would be Charlian. Well, maybe we can talk to, uh, the Circle. Well, unfortunately, we don't have any good means to get a hold of the Circle anymore now that the Link Pearls are gone. There has to be a new way to, like, create a new network that, that... I mean, uh... Soul has magic that can send a message to someone wherever they are in the world as long as they're still on it. Hey! That's a great idea. Hey, so maybe you can send a message to one of the people in the circle to come meet us here, and we can talk to them about uh, this this Asian situation. Does message work on somebody? Uh, that's a good question. Does message work on somebody? I think it does. I think you need to know that. Yeah, like know them or know of them. But let's find out. No, it's not. It's sending. So have, message is the cantrip. Sending, I think I have to know a message, and I'm not sure. A creature with which you are familiar. No. So, I would say, mm, have met. Yeah. But you have met... No, you haven't met any of the circle, so... Well, message is only uh, 120 feet. To... Met, well, sending is the spell. Okay. Message is the cantrip. I thought sending... Right? Because you have sending, don't mm -hmm. you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sending is anywhere on the plane, the same thing. Oh, of familiar, existence. okay. For some reason, I thought it was. Message is line of sight. What does familiar mean, Dandy? Like, could I know of them, or have I had to have met them? In my assessment, I think you would have had to at least met them once okay. to be familiar. That, or they have to be a personality that's very, like, well known. Gotcha. Because I don't think I've met. I still hasn't met any of them. So yeah, because we were in Jesper Bay when we met. Yeah, the, most of them. And you joined them, like, two sessions after that. Yeah. yeah. Maybe one session. Uh, message Manderville. He's famous enough to God. be familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not into it stab you. sure I'd be you able to stab. contact them, unfortunately. I, I don't think I've met any of the circle unless I did it unknowingly. Do you think Hancock can get us in touch with the circle? I feel like we've unintentionally mentioned it around him before and he wasn't familiar with the organization. Or at least no. stated he wasn't familiar with them. Maybe not the circle, but someone within the circle that we know. Well, there are at least a few notable people that we've met in the circle that might be known. Um, Papa Lima was one of them. The Thaumaturge's Guild in Ulda knew him by name when I when uh, Fifi and I talked to them. So, in theory, 
he's at least famous enough to be known by other people. Uh, I imagine their leader, uh, Minfilia, is probably known to somebody. But whether or not we know people that know them. But at the very least, Papa Limo for sure is known by the Thaumaturgist Guild. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, well, then, well we have some place to go now on this. Uh, hey, uh, maybe, uh, maybe, can you send a message to Hancock, uh, Soul, and see if he can come over now? Uh, now we have two things we need to talk to him about. Oh, that's a good idea, Kevin. Could you repeat that, John? I didn't catch it. Soul, if you could do a sending for uh, Hancock. Uh, yeah, um, what do we want to ask him? Uh, uh, if- yeah, just tell him uh, if he could come to, to the, the the breakfast table here. It's an emergency. Come quick. This is to Hancock. Yeah. So yeah, I'll use uh, sending the, send a message to Hancock and say, uh, come to the castle. What is it? The kitchen. Tell him to walk into the kitchen. Okay. Come into the the kitchen area in the castle. And they they can reply, right? Uh, yes. It's, uh, recognizes me and can respond with 25 words. Terribly sorry, Master Soul. I am on an early morning expedition to Mount Rockon and am indisposed for the time being. (laughs) Uh... He responded and he said he's indisposed right now. Well, he can get dressed and then go to work. That's fine. What? What did he dispose? Ah, hmm. uh, well, whatever he's disposing, he's doing it uh, away from here, so he can't uh, join us. Oh. <laughs> well, that's weird. Directly after the party. Yeah, it's a bit odd. He did that a lot back in Kugane too, though, where he'd just be like, "I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, dropping, I'm gone." It's a fair point, Molly. It's very, uh, that's a, that's a very <laughs> good assessment of how I played him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, can, can you ask him uh, how long he's going to be? All right. Fires up another sending spell. Uh, <laughs> when are you going to be back? Well, that depends if I get murdered by these wayward spirits. Hopefully by the evening. Is this terribly important? Ah, that's my leg. (laughs) (laughs) Um, He says he might be back this evening, but uh, that's only if he doesn't get murdered. And it sounded like he was in a bit of a situation while he was talking there. Uh, wait, what? Sit, wait, what? Uh, ask him if he needs some help. And where the heck he is? Kevin, <laughs> my, my bow can only do so many of these spells, unfortunately. Okay, how many more can you do? Well, if he's gonna die, I think it's important that we stop him from dying. What, what do you want me to message him and say, don't die? No, well, <laughs> I mean. I mean, yeah, if yeah, done, yeah. Say, say, say this, say, rock on. Mount rock on. say, Hancock, don't die, but do you need our help? And should we go to Mount Rock on to find you? In game, no. Um, all right, here we go. Last sending spell. That's all you have for the day. Also, say it's your last sending spell. <laughs> um, Hancock, do you need help? I hired some strapping young adventurers to help me on this expedition. With any luck, I will not die. Thank you for your concern. Unless you just need me. (laughs) I can't respond now. Oh, uh, well, he said something about uh, being in the company of some strapping young lads, so uh, maybe he's going to be all right. Maybe you oh, Sounds like he's with a bunch of machinists since they're strapped. That's a great point. That's true. 
Are they machinists? Did you say something about them being machinists? Oh, that'd be great if they are. They can help uh, make stuff with us. Yeah. So, did you say something about them being machinists? Uh, not specifically, but uh, I guess we can't rule it out. Yeah, okay. Well, you're going to use higher level spell slots. <laughs> 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 Days, did we ever get Grim back from where we left him? Uh, no, Sea Garland still has him. So we left him in Ishgard. <laughs> we had to make a hasty retreat from Ishgard, so. I didn't realize we even brought it to Ishgard. Yeah, it was always in Ishgard. No, we took, the last I remember Grim, we had to leave him behind before we crossed the river to get into uh, Kugane. Right, but then after that we went back to Ishgard and we had ridden, um, there when we teleported there, remember? And we dropped it off there, and then for the the siege of uh, the the manor, Sid was driving it and right. crashing yeah, into right. it. Let's right. say, I thought the Garland saw us have it when we came back, right? Yeah. So you have what? Sorry? Grim? The walker. Oh, right, right, right. Huh? You can always get that back, too. You said an outrock gun sounds like a club. I'm like, it's funny you say that. This is the music from it. <laughs> Only mountain with a cover charge, right? <laughs> well, we could always go to town uh, and at least send a Moogle Post letter to Papalimo or any of the other members of the circle, and I'm sure it'll get there eventually. Did we get a Moogle Post? Not no, yet. to go to town and go to a Moogle Post in town, because there's for sure at least one in Kugane. Gotcha. There may or may not be one in our little village we haven't investigated. <clears throat> Yeah, a new notebook. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I was crunching some numbers oh, for uh, spell candy. <laughs> Who's writing this week? Uh, I was going to do it because last, last week, week was short. It was short, so. Cool. I'm kind of indisposed from writing for a good while. Did it work? <laughs> work, well, seeing if I still have a job or if then I... You already let them know you're planning to move. Yeah. So they have yet to tell me if I will be able to work 100% remotely or not. So I'm kind of like, cool, do Are I have a job? Are still going to move if they won't let you work remotely? Yeah. Just not going to move straight into an apartment. I'll probably um, crash. crash from my parents have a guest room for until I find a new job. Yeah. It's nice to have that option. Yeah, I just don't want to be a like a trap. Okay, like, cool, I'm there, and then I can't find a job. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, that sucks. Uh, a friend of mine is a blacksmith, and he was hammering out his sword, and... <laughs> oh. Oh. He said he spent, he said he spent like, 22 hours on that. <laughs> no. Oh. Wow. That sucks. It, 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 I don't know if you can see the picture, but it was the tip of the sword, like, that much of it snapped off. Yeah, no, I assumed he had broken it, based on what you are saying. Just the tip. Oh, no. Yeah, just yeah, to see how it feels. Hi, Eric. When did you get here? Uh, a while ago. Yeah, for a bit. Oh. He's, he's summoned by the opportunity for puns. Yeah, you got your sense, uh, actually. Grim waffles. He's right there. Yeah. That's what we mean when we say we're all eating waffles for breakfast. We're devouring small corgis. Oh, what have I done? Evil. <laughs> Many acts of evil. <laughs> we all turn to uh, our alignment change of... Yeah. Millie's back to good, and everyone else turns <laughs> evil, and she's like, what the fuck is this? Everyone, some people have a bucket list. I've got a fucking list. I think you're going to talk. <laughs> well, now that you say it like that. <laughs> now he's got two lists. <laughs> I like how he said things and not people. <laughs> Love. <laughs> <clears throat> so what's the plan? Are you going into town to find a post Moogle? Uh, yeah, I guess they're they're gonna do that. I'm gonna stay back and pack for the trip. Okay. Because uh, I think after they're done doing that thing, we're gonna head out, right? I think so. Go in town and see my favorite uh, store owner, Pete. 
<laughs> Ooh. See if we ran him out of town or not. He He's in a different. That to him. Wasn't he ran out of town? Yeah, he was run out of town. Yeah, he was run out of town. If he knows what's good for him. I thought he just escaped out of town. Hey, oh, so. Okay, I'm totally missing. Why, how does Soul know Pete? He's just saying. That. I'm just saying, like, he knows oh, him okay, just from okay. general so like, Wait, was there town. some previous interaction with Pete that I'm not remembering? I just wanted to call back to our friend Pete. I love it. <laughs> so, so, Neely, uh, you guys ready to go get that mochi we talked about? I assume it's been like a few hours. Yeah, we can get it on the way to get two the, minutes uh, ago. <laughs> yeah. Great. Okay, let's go. I suppose you should take stock of who's coming with us, because there's no guarantee that there's a post-Moogle in our um, Sasaki village. But uh, there would definitely be one with Nope, nope, it's just gonna be us three. Uh, we're gonna go get some mochi. It's gonna be great. Right. Well, okay, then. Did we decide who we wanted to send a letter to? Because if we're doing the post-Moogles, we've got more options than just Papa Limo. That was just the name that came to mind as the only one we know that other people know of. What about Mama Lena? <laughs> to sister. <laughs> they have a band. They call the Mamas and the Papas. Okay, well, I, I'm, I'm sure you can figure it out, Millie. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll send a letter. Um, I saw Deus went off to go pack something. Where, where are we going after this? No, well, just after we do the mochi, uh, we'll head back up to, to the castle. That'll be it. I'm just going to go get some mochi. I think uh, we're talking about going to Charlia. No. Right, do we even know how to get to Charlia, is my point. Oh, I just assumed that you did. You knew how. No, I mean, Sid was the one who mentioned it. Um, Sherbin would certainly know, and... You know, should contact Sherbin. <laughs> uh, would any of us know? know? How to get to Charlia? You know uh, that it's on the boat ride. <clears throat> It, it's somewhere beyond the sea. Somewhere. Waiting for you. Somewhere no. Well, if, <laughs> well, if nothing else, Soul could teleport some of you to the Dawn Throne to go talk to Sherbin about uh, how to get to Charlian, because she's been there. That's where the Gleaners were from, she said. The X rated version. You could Dawn also throne. fire up the. That's what I uh, said. I thought he said the Dawn Throne. <laughs> fire up the uh, Hag and talk to him through that as well. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Does have Sid play three dimensional messenger? Sid always seems very happy when we call him on that. Does <laughs> it have something? <laughs> Sid, we need to. <laughs> Father Hancock for us. <laughs> send his message to Hancock, get his reply, then send a sending to us with his reply. <laughs> the gang uses all the spell slots. Yep. It's not like he needs them for the clinic or anything. It's not like people get themselves hurt all the fucking time on the Dawn Throne. Well, then do we want to have Deus contact Sid then while we're out so that Sid can talk to Sherbin and figure out how we get to Charlie and while the rest of us are in town? You don't think that makes sense. Okay. Well, then do you want to go tell Deus to do that before we leave? Yeah, sure. I go upstairs and tell Deus that exact thing. Do you mind doing that? Thing? You're packing for what again? Oh, never mind. Well, you mind sending that message? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can send the message. All right, well, I, I won't be long. Uh, I'll be back up very shortly. I promise. Then I can help you pack, and we can figure out what the heck's going on. Yeah, that sounds like a great plan, Kevin. Okay, great. Oh, um, and also, too, uh, if Millie's gonna go off and get some candy, don't don't let her out of your sight. Um, <laughs> should we get soul? Oh, I, I, yeah. So I I talked to Soul this morning, and I think it'd be good, you know. With uh, I feel like Millie's maybe missing the role model, right? Because uh, you know her parents died, and she hasn't had any like role models. So uh, you know, I think she might need like a father figure. So. I, since so so old, basically ancient, I figured he might be a good role model for her. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. He's got a lot of uh, world experience, right? And he was in the military, and they, they've been up to some stuff. Exactly. And that's what I thought, too. You know, they got a lot of things in common, and, and so seems like he, he's got his, his head on, on straight. 
Yeah, no, that's a, that's a really good uh, it's more than plan, much. Kevin. I uh, I would have thought that you would probably put yourself forward <laughs> that since you are a father. <laughs> you actually, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, I thought, I thought about it, but you know, uh, Millie and me, uh, well, we're good friends, but there always seems to be like some tension there. I just feel like she might trust Soul more than she would trust me. Oh. Okay, well. I guess that makes some sense since they're both in the military now. But uh, yeah, and if I ever disciplined her, you know, well, I, I, I'd have to be watching out for pranks for the rest of my life. Well, yeah, that's true. You just have to make sure you only discipline her when it's acceptable. Right? Well, that's what I told Saul. Oh well, yeah, that's good advice. Thanks. Okay. Right. Well, uh, I'll, I'll make sure we uh, Saul keeps a good eye on Millie. Okay. Yeah. Remember, no candy. No, no, no candy. Got it. Mochi's not candy, right? No, I don't think so. It's more like an ice cream. So I thought. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, thanks, DJ. Uh, I'll be back in a bit. Okay. All right. Take care, Kevin. Speaking of mochi, mochi pancakes exist, and they are fantastic. Really? Right. I just love like mochi, like dude. It's with various fillings and things. That sounds mm. wonderful. We had some on the way back. Uh, are, are any of you guys heard of Keith Lee? Uh, he's this really famous TikToker who reviews oh, yes. re uh, various restaurants. Didn't he also get like, <clears throat> in some trouble recently because he tried to copyright something that's like a staple in China? No, that or I trademark haven't something heard about that. But we went to one of the places he recommended um, outside Vegas on the way back, and mo strawberry mochi pancakes were on the menu. They oh. were fantastic. Yeah. yeah, Chili Crunch, that's what it's called. Look it up, because he got in some trouble with a whole bunch of Asian huh. YouTubers. And yeah, he's a fucking asshole, dude. I, I refuse to buy his Chili Crunch ever again. Yeah, chili. So, so he basically tried. Because that's a staple, of yeah. like Korean food. Yeah, it's like trying to say, oh, this is soy sauce, and I'm going to trademark soy sauce. You can do that. Like, it's a. He started going after the smaller oh. people that use it, and like, hey, you're using the name of something I trademarked when it's been like a staple in cuisine for decades. Huh. Kind of fucked up. Yeah. That's Fucking it. asshole. Well, besides that, he is normally considered a good guy because he would bring notoriety to those mom and pop restaurants out there. Yeah, but then you try to fuck him over? Not cool, bro. Um, it... Fuck, what was it called? Um, That's a new name. <laughs> he just threw himself on his back and then started to play him during his toes. It's funny because when he when I'm laying in bed and he's like trying to get up over my face, I'll pick him up and I'll lay him down on his back like between my legs and he'll be like struggling trying to get out. It's cute. Truffles and Bacon is the name of the restaurant. That sounds really good. Is it good, in Vegas? Uh, it's like 15 minutes outside. Mm. Sounds good. <laughs> it does sound good. <laughs> yeah, no, they're fantastic. I got a, a a steak and eggs that was actually worth getting at a diner. Uh, oh, I feel like that's pretty rare. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> but then they also had a nope, not four pens. Um, like all of the pastry, they had like all bunch, sort of like uh, ube pancakes and waffles and things. And it was one of those like all the food is Instagram picture food, but it's as good as it looks. Oh, cool. And cheaper than I would have expected for that fancy looking food, but yeah. Should hire them for the council. For the what? Our castle. Yup. Yeah. Anyways, uh, off to Sasaki Village to see if there's a post moogle there. <clears throat> okay. uh, once we get down to the village, I'm gonna. Oh, oh shoot! I, I forgot something back in the castle. Uh, it's a soul. Uh, Millie, here's a here's ten gold. I'm gonna hand you ten gold. Uh, get the mochi. Uh, uh, don't worry about getting me one. Uh, you know what? Here's another plan. Uh, have some fun. Uh, no candy, and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Okay? Yeah, it's good seeing you. And I wink at Soul, and I run off. Soul standing uh, behind Millie, and it's just like. <laughs> I, I, does he not remember that I I have the group funds with me? I I don't know what he's doing, honestly. This entire trip was his idea, and now he's running off. I suppose we should wait on getting the mochi until he's back then. But... Oh, don't wait for me! Yeah, he said not to wait for him. <laughs> uh, I mean, we don't have to get mochi. I don't know how you're feeling. Do you want I'm to do something else? Not especially hungry. Um, but I feel like it might take us a minute to hunt down that Moogle, if there is one. 
Yeah, it's okay. kind of a small fishing village, so I don't really see them having a need for a post moogle. Uh, I can't say I've seen one around, so I think we're gonna have to go and see if we Kagane. That's my guess, but we can eat right there, send a letter, uh, or two or three, and then poof back to the castle before uh, figuring out how we get to Charlie and. <clears throat> yeah, well, yeah. well, I'll make a day of it, and then uh, Soul's gonna do the ether ray teleport around his bow and teleport into Kugane. Kugane. Okay. I think he said it was like 75 gold for the distance. I got it out of that group funds. Oh, perfect. That's 150 for the two of us. Kevin's gonna get back, and we're not there. Did you guys know it's Taco Tuesday? Oh, Kevin's not coming back. Uh. So Kevin's yeah. Yeah. yeah, Kevin was yeah, trying to set us. up a, a <laughs> crazy like a soul role model. <clears throat> oh, uh, yep. <laughs> no pressure though. You can't spell solace without us. True. It's a part of every, every young woman's life where she kills thirty some odd people, and it's totally normal and natural. So I'm going to tell you the story about the birds and the bees and the serial killers. Pretty sure you've killed more people than Millie has, haven't you? I probably have. Yeah. So you get these urges stuff. sometimes. Yeah. That's normal, you know? Very different context. You wake up in the middle of the night all wet <coughs> because you're covered in blood. <laughs> I understand. Um, birds, bees, serial killers. That's your basic dark romance. Okay. What kind of books are you reading, Jess? The best books. <laughs> Who says I'm reading them? Writing. That's right. She's listening to them. <laughs> Ooh, nice, spicy. Yeah, I mean, you need at least one hand to read. So, um. <laughs> that where that coconut butter is coming in again? Well, what did you say? The coconut. That's where the coconut's coming in again. Yeah, it's all ties together. Uh, <clears throat> what is this picture you're painting of me? I'm not sure I like it. <laughs> it's a fun picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can so. we'll be back if we want to cut away back to the castle. Sure. Are you going to be a minute? Yeah. Okay. Soul's just kind of standing, waiting for Millie to get out of the outhouse. Line. Just playing some music, trying to busk for some extra gold. And cover up the sounds. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> like, oh, that was the base of my mandolin. Who knows what's going on? <laughs> I'm just trying to be a good father figure. He should be playing a tuba. Playing a tuba? I mean, if he really wants to be considerate. Yeah. Um, the twins have improved to nine wins in a row. <laughs> The shitty start we had this season. Uh, uh, nobody likes that. Move. You're still ahead of us, Mr. Tiger. That's right. But not for long. You guys are going to be terrible. Um, I don't know why I'm playing this music right now, but uh, okay. We're about to get into battle. This is not battle music. Oh. Well, I thought you were changing it to battle music. Um, so. Depends on what Millie's eat, eating. That's true. So back to the castle, Deus, you're in your room packing? Yeah, but I, now I'm uh, also talking to Sid on the hag. No, before you called Sid, you just hear this voice. You're alone in your room, and you hear a voice reverberate. Deus. You evaded me for long enough. I will come for you soon. Oh. Do I recognize the voice? No, but it sends a chill down your spine. Uh -oh. Ooh. That was crazy. Why'd you say, I don't know? Isn't, like, a demon stalking Deus because he's not think of anything? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Oh, really? What? Do I smell brimstone? Uh, no. That's a devil. Oh. What do I know? Oh. <laughs> he's an exhibitionist. Leave him alone. Yeah, if he's feeling good. I guess go good. Fen's going to town on himself below us right now. So I'll, so I'll be like, hello? Anybody here? Looking at my bed. Hello? I don't see anybody. 
Take, take out my ears, make sure they're clear. Like, you see floating from the ceiling to the ground a single black feather. Oh. Do I recognize the bird it came from? No. It might be a quail, but probably not. Okay. I'll have to ask Cosette if this is like another one of her relatives. And I'll take the feather and like stick it in my thing. <laughs> Oh, that one bird from my I know, okay. I just got that. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to uh, fire up the hag and talk to the professor and get the directions to Charlene. Okay. As you fire up the hag, you just hear, What did I tell you about juggling knives? Don't do it! That's what I... No, I said don't do it. I didn't give you unless. I just said don't do it. Oh, help. Hi, Deus. Oh, hello, professor. It sounds like uh, you've already told him twice now, so maybe that's it. He's not going to listen. I don't like to give up on people that e that soon. That's true. Now get out of here and don't let me catch you juggling knives again. Not rocks either. <laughs> well, sorry to bother you, Professor. Uh, you're obviously very busy. Oh, yes. But uh, we were thinking of going to Charmian to do some research on uh, Soul's friends. I just wanted to know, uh, can you ask Sherman how do we get there? Um, yes, although I could tell you I'm actually a little jealous that that's of some place that you want to go for the first time. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, you know, it would be great if you uh, wanted to come. You could come. You mean Sherman along? Let's see. I might be busy. You know, these shifts are always so unpredictable. I never know when I'm working or not. Uh, I will ask Sherbin for it to give me a second. Um, you just hear him, like, breathing a little bit as he's walking. It's like the sound of somebody moving. Yeah. So, uh, how's everybody doing this morning? Oh, everyone's doing really fine. Um, no hangovers? Well, Soul looked a little ragged. I couldn't tell with Tavi. Tavi always looks like he's hungover. But sometimes I don't know if there's more alcohol or blood running through that man's system. Well, I think one of them is bad for you. If that's the case. So. True. In his case, I'm not sure which it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Sure. Oh, I see her. Okay. Oh, oh, did anyone remember to get Cassette out of the planter? Cassette was in the planter? Did you see her this morning? Yeah. Okay. She, she took two baths. But the that, second one's very fast, though, so I'm kind of suspect about that. Not my... I have no comment. Um, okay, Sherbin's here. What do I need to ask Sherbin? You want to know how to get to... Sure. Charlie and yeah. Starbird... They want to know if you have any idea how to get to Charlie. Uh-huh. No, I don't know why. Yes, it does sound fun. Yes, Millie most likely will be going. Yeah, I know, I know. That means you won't be. Okay. Um, th all right, let me tell them. One second. Lynn Silliman's, uh has a ferry or, or ship that would go between... Charlie and, and their port at least once a month. Oh, okay. That seems to be your best bet. Otherwise, any other ocean nation should be able to get you there, but Limps is probably the fastest. Okay. Sounds really good, then. Appreciate that. Oh, and Sherman's saying I'm not allowed to come with you unless I do my chores, so uh, maybe we'll see if I get to go. Okay, well, we would love it if you could come. Me too, as long as the missus is happy. Right, darling? Yes, okay. Uh, yeah, oh, and Professor, before you go, uh, could you send a message to the Hancock and ask him if he's hanging out with other machinists? Right now? Well, after we're done talking, yeah. I think you just let me know. Thank you. Sure. All right. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> Alright, so did you get the answer you wanted? Yeah. Thank you. Alright, uh, 
keep packing for my trip. Okay. Uh, who's next? Well, Kavi and Cosette have a main thing, so. See what's Tavi. Yeah. Tavi, what are you doing? It's been a little while since you had time to shine. Yeah. Uh, I mean, honestly, since I haven't been able to keep up extremely well, I don't know exactly what I would be doing. Who wants to fill in Tavi? Uh, you could say I'm... I heard that Kenji was planning battle stuff. You'd say I'm doing that with Kenji. Okay. So he's just what with Kenji? He's going to hang out with Kenji while they're doing some tactics. Okay. So, we're plan. figuring out a battle plan, right, Kenji? That's what Kenji's doing? I mean, yeah. Tavi was a big part of that when he was part of the military, so i do so that. I'd, I'd say the number one plan don't get killed. I think that gives us our best chance of not dying. Genji, you... You weren't the tactician. That's right, it was that other guy. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I came up with many plans. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I wasn't the tactician either. I was more of a gut feeling, go with the flow. It served me well enough. Is there something wrong with my plan? I, I think it's pretty sound. I mean, it is, but it, that's just the plan for any battle, isn't it? No. You go into some battles expecting to just go die? Yeah, actually. You go into every battle expecting to win, even if it's not likely. Well, see, that's where you and I are different. I'm a realist. You can't picture how you can win in your own mind, then what's the point? Sure, I can picture it, but manifesting that reality, that's a little bit more difficult. It seems not. You're still here. Well, every man's luck runs out eventually, on a long enough timeline. I mean... Yeah, you die of old age. That sounds awfully boring, doesn't it? And probably not extremely likely, but still. Right, well, what do you suggest then? What is your plan? Well, like I said, I I had a, a pretty smart tactician when I was with the 8th. And uh, I'd, I'd usually break her plans about halfway through a fight and do my own thing, and it would work out, but... You and uh, I have more in common than you think. It'd, it would be good to have some kind of baseline strategy here. Should we ask, uh, what's his name again? Sol? No, your, your friend from the samurai group. I mean, we could ask him, but at the same time, I don't really feel like talking to him just yet. The Saiyan, he was your tactician, was he not? He was? But I am not near sober enough to take an earful from him. <laughs> so you have to be sober to talk to him? I said that wrong. I'm way too sober to take an earful from him. And he pulls out uh, he pulls uh, his uh, sake uh, skin off of his belt. He just kind of shakes it in front of you. It's like, huh? Uh, it doesn't sound like you have enough in there. I'll go grab some more. My man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Cassette, what are you doing then? Uh, she's basically just stand uh on standby outside Deus's room. Oh. Well, that's it. If I if I if I hear you hanging around out there, I'd invite you in. You can help me pack. Her armor's kind of loud. Yeah. Hey, Cosette, what, what, what are you out there? Lady Dance? Yes. You want to come in? Sure. She kind of peeks her head inside. Yeah. Come on in. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> she comes inside. <laughs> Dance murders her. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Hey, did, did, did you pack already? I'm always ready to go at a moment's notice. Oh. That's that's really good. You're always prepared. Hmm. 
always on duty for the most part. Oh, okay. Well, well, you can just relax around us. We're just hanging out. I'm packing my suitcase to go. And um, I found out from the professor that uh, it's in Limsa Lamensa. And we're going to take a boat. Oh, not an airship? But out no. to sea? Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, we had this one exciting trip by sea once. And, you know, a lot of people died. But that's, that's another story for another time. But oh, yeah, nothing's so gonna cool. happen this time. <laughs> Have you ever well, been to Lincoln, Mensa? Uh, a few times, but not for very long. Just passing through mostly. Oh, okay. Well, I think that's what we're gonna do too. But uh, we might be able to get some souvenirs or something. Oh, I think that's wonderful. There's a certain way or tunnel it seems like a tunnel if you go to the main aetherite plaza that has a whole bunch of shops there it's lovely and there's always so many people hmm. well that sounds like a, a good time then a lot to see yeah if you really like people watching it's great. We might actually <laughs> schmooze and mingle there if we need to make a connection or two. But oh, you've got to be careful because there's pirates there too. Literally pirates. The entire yeah. city of pirates. Wow. <laughs> like mostly that's, good pirates, kind of. <laughs> that's, that's pretty like interesting. Like Johnny Depp pirates. <laughs> Johnny Depp pirates, huh? Or Jack Sparrow. Just don't marry him. Oh, Mary. Oh. Um, yeah, you know, Sherbin was saying that one of her husbands was a pirate. I wonder if we'll meet him. Really? She has a pirate husband? Oh, that sounds so romantic. Oh, okay. I, I think we have different ideas of what pirates do, but okay. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we'll go check it out and we'll see. Oh, um, hey, by the way, I found this. I'll pull out the, the black feather. Is this uh, one of your relatives? Feather? Yeah, it's a black feather, see? Huh. Is it... Is it your lucky feather? Oh, I don't know if it's lucky, but... Uh, did you hear a voice a few minutes ago? Oh? Yeah, well, I heard this really weird voice. And then this feather came floating down out of nowhere. So I thought maybe it was, you know, you were saying that your grandma was that one bird. So maybe this other word was uh, another relation, like a cousin or something. Out of character, I can't remember referencing a bird from my grandmother. The shoe bill, the shoe bill with the, the hair thing reminded you of her uh, grandma. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Christian um, never forgets anything, Jess. Unless it's important. Oh always forget. <laughs> well done. Um, no. No. My gosh. Although, Grandmama sometimes did have these very fancy hats that had bird feathers in it. Oh. Well, so maybe. maybe? Oh, okay. I don't think... Well, that's strange. I don't think she knows how to travel that fast, and she'd say hi to me at least, I'd imagine. Oh. Is she a smoker? No. Because the voice sounded like this. No, she's not a smoker, but Grandpapa always said that she was smoking. Wow. Oh. Well, it seems like one of them was right and wrong. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm all, <laughs> I'm all packed up because uh, we should probably head down and see where everyone else is. Okay. That's a, are you feeling well, Deus? Hearing noise or voices and finding feathers? Did you uh, have too much to drink no. last night? No, no, no. I don't think I had anything to drink. Did you have the worm? You should never have the worm. <laughs> the worm? No, I didn't have a worm. Okay. Well. 
I'll well, keep an eye on you <laughs> next time. All right. Well, thanks, Cosette. I appreciate that. Okay. Let's go. Okay. You get a message back, uh, Deus. Using another sending spell today. Hancock says, no, he's not hanging out with any machinists. He's hanging out with a handful of red mages and a blue mage by the name of the Great Azuro. Oh, the Great Azuro. Oh, that guy. Oh, oh the Great Azuro. <laughs> Thank you, Professor. Tell him to keep on spitting fish. <laughs> Wait, you want me to set? <laughs> no, he's not going to respond. Because that'd be another <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> I said you, you did have Sid message you instead of use the hag. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, because I packed up the hag now, so. <laughs> oh. Well, Cosette, um, uh, Hancock's not hanging out with Machinists, but he is hanging out with the Great Azura. Remember that guy? Oh, that's right. She was there for that. Um, oh, really? Yeah. That's, that's wonderful. I was sure that Azura would have met, you know, a really bad accident. I mean, he loves wow. his work. Absolutely yeah. loves his work, but sometimes I wonder if he's a bit too enthusiastic. A mysterious what creator that? appeared outside the city with a yeah. pile of blue paste in the center of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially since he, uh, we're not around to keep him out of trouble. So, uh, But no, no, now he's got Hancock, so... Yeah, he's in oh. trouble. <laughs> Okay, so then we're going to go down and uh, hang out. Okay. If Millie comes out of the outhouse, <coughs> you made like five copper. Or were you busking? Yeah. <laughs> to cover up the noises. Oh, uh, yeah, made a little extra money here uh, while you're indisposed. Did you find the post moogle? I supposed to. <laughs> no, I mean we have all all the time in the world to go find it. <laughs> Maybe I need a phone earlier. <laughs> Come again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing. Uh, yeah, let's go find that person. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, would we have I, any idea where it is in the city? We had interacted with one at the, uh, or one had come to us at the East Aldenar Trading Company headquarters, uh, but we don't know where it was. No, I don't think we ever sent any outgoing mail from the uh, the Moogle. We just know was able to deliver to us there. Uh, they want to head back near where we're staying and assume that there's a post Moogle around there? Or... I feel like if we go to the... Uh, the hostel, hostelry or the inn, they'd be able to point us in the right direction. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, get some sushi while we're here. Yes. Can you get me some while you're there? No. Okay, uh, to the hostelry, though. <laughs> and away we go. Has he attacked your feet yet? He seems to go after people wearing socks. He thinks it's a cheap toy. Well, Rudy came to try and change your life, but it turned on when he got here, so he just left it all. I had the fucking... I turned on and off the switch multiple times, and the light never moved. I said, do the one in the hall, do the one in the bathroom. I don't know what said that. I was like, I tried them all. They're all working. So we left you alone. Oh, boy. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, my whole light went out. Like, it was completely off. I'm like, hey, can you put in your maintenance request? And I got the notification that the maintenance request went through. We come home, the light turns on, but apparently... <laughs> magic. I yeah, I don't have the magic touch. It's working. Yeah. <laughs> so off to the... Something something hostelry. Shiokaze Hostelry. Okay. While you're on the way there, you... I turned a sneeze. A cold. Okay. Um, anytime, uh, or on your way there, you um, move through, like, the Ruby Bazaar area, um, and there's some shops, a bunch of buskers, and 
you hear a familiar voice that's like, Coffee! Come get coffee! It's the best coffee! I promise! And who is it? Sounds like Pete. <laughs> He's got a big sign over his stall that just says Pete's Coffee. God damn it. Oh, I hear good things about that. <laughs> ah, Pete! What, what are you doing here? Oh, I got run out of town by your friends. Huh. That must sound like my friends. Yeah, it was kind of rude. I was just being, you know, good businessman, and then they made me set fire to my shop and run away. Who made you do this? Well, I didn't get their names, but it's the weird-looking one, and the tall one, and the mean one. Um, this is all the same person? No. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say I had an idea. But, um, <laughs> hmm. There's also the short one that wanted to tax me, like, a lot. Oh, yep, that is intense. And then there was a Lollafell. It's not the one that wanted to tax you? It was, what I... Nope. Oh, oh there's, the there's two Lollafell. There's the one that wants to tax you, and then there's the one with the big glasses. Yeah, that's what I said. Anyway, you want some coffee? Yeah, sure, why not? How much is it? Two silver. Does that seem expensive to you? For you, it's one silver. We're old friends. It's true, I know Pete from way back when. <laughs> About two months now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, fuck it. And I'm a silver. Oh, coffee. you're gonna love this. And he's got like this little. It's like a makeshift milk steamer. And he's like trying to. It, it's like some sheep's milk that he's steaming for you. Uh, pours it in some coffee, he's like, and now the secret ingredient. He just grabs, like, some grains of something, and just sprinkles them in there, stirs Shilly it up. Powder. <laughs> Shitting powder? Is that Chili what? powder. <laughs> Chili powder. Like, like breaking, powder. Breaking, breaking breaking powder. Breaking powder. <laughs> yeah. Except that would have a very different effect than putting it in meth. <laughs> yep. Uh, so so it's spicy. gonna take a sip. Coffee. Okay. Tastes like coffee with milk in it. The milk is probably not the best quality, but it doesn't taste spoiled. But then it's like grains of sand, it tastes like, that he sprinkled in there. This is a very unique brew you have here, Pete. Uh, he heard about know. Turkish coffee and didn't quite understand the concept. <laughs> oh, with the, the, the straining cook it in the sand. Yeah. Well, this is why I like him. Uh, y- you want a coffee? No, thanks. I'm good. That's yeah, probably for the best. What about... <laughs> Yes. A cu- Kuganicano? <laughs> Americano? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is that? Oh, it's great. It's espresso. It's this new thing. It's all the rage. And hot water. Oh. Hot water? Yeah. Isn't, there's, isn't coffee just beans and hot water to begin with? Shh. Don't give away my secrets. It's prepared differently. It's okay. Pete knows what he's doing. I'll take one Pete of those. his coffee. Okay. Um, and he makes you essentially an Americano, but stylized to be from Kugani. So he sprinkles on a little bit of fish flakes. That's a bit of a kick. Uh, oh. That'll wake you up in the morning. I figure if it tastes good on sushi, it'll taste good in coffee. Don't see why it wouldn't. Yeah. Okay. You sure you don't want anything? I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I have some catnip tea. Nope. I don't think I need to be on any substances right now. I have drugs. <laughs> well, in that case. <laughs> oh. Take a meth account. Second one's free. Enjoy it. Just tell people about me and they can find Pete's Coffee right here. We're going worldwide. I'll be telling everybody about Pete's Coffee. Just not your weird friends. Oh, definitely not the weird friends. Thanks, bud. Oh, and by the way, the shopkeeper that got eaten by a fish, I totally did not cause that to happen. Just FYI. Bye! <laughs> Do you know what he was talking about? I didn't even know he was running out of town. Oh yeah, he's from a, he runs one of the shops in our town. Well, it sounds like he ran one of the shops in town, and then was ran out of the shop in town. But they didn't tell us anything about that. I also didn't even know who went into town other than Inti, obviously. Mm-hmm. I was not there when that happened. <laughs> and you think of that when 
our friends going to town, so I'm like, well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lots of things happen when our group goes into town. Billy catches sight <laughs> of, uh, of one of the bridges that she used to go under to get into the Undercity. <laughs> okay, well, you head over to the Shiokaze Hostelry. And there is a woman at the counter there. Um, and she seems to be arranging potions against the back wall. Oh, hello. How could I help? Ah, just how I remember it. Um, anyways, um, hello there. Uh, we're looking to find a post mobile. Could you help us find it? Yes, yeah, second floor, actually. One hangs out there. Koopa Cop is the name. Oh, well, that was easy enough. Same building. All Koopa Cops are pigs. No, actually, it's a Moogle. <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll go see him upstairs. Uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Please buy something. Oh, um... Before you leave. Okay, yes. <laughs> Go upstairs. Okay, so you're on the second floor of four. Um, and, uh, literally just spinning around in a circle aimlessly, you see a Moogle with a post hat, postmaster hat. Just saddle up next to him. You a cop? <laughs> yeah, tell me. <laughs> oh, perfect. So that's just super <laughs> really <laughs> uh, We were looking uh, to send some mail. <laughs> oh, God. All right, sorry. Now, stand, standing like right next to him is a tall Elizin in a yellow uh, coat and jeans, and then there's a short, very rotund Lollipel. That appear to be with. No, they're just near him. Okay. You looking for a cop, man? Cool. I found the cop. I, I am cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay, okay. I'm cool. You looking to get high? Not right now. Come find us later then. Okay. Don't tell the Seki Sugumi. <laughs> Secret safe with me. Come on, Silent Lala, let's get out of here. Yeah, say, the other one just doesn't talk, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's Ray and Silent Lala. <laughs> I feel like I've seen them hanging outside of stores before. Specifically movies. <laughs> Alright, uh... Wait, so what do we need to send? Well, we want to send letters... Or at least I think we should send more than one to a oh, couple... Wait. You're the ones that have been talking about us! Who just said that? The Moogle. I mean, a moment to go downstairs, yes? No. In your castle. Yesterday. How do you know that? Moogles always know when we're being talked about. Then, yes, I suppose that is a accurate assertion. Um, mm. We needed to send a couple of letters to a couple of associates of ours that we no longer have Link Pearl access to because the network is fried. Right. And I think you said something about wanting to enslave one of our kind over here, your keep. One of us Whoa. said words that often don't convey the actual meaning uh, that he wishes they did, but we would like to employ or barter for services of one of your ilk. Yeah, that's what I said. Then yes. <laughs> I mean, that could be arranged. But, oh, sorry, you have work you need to do now. What do you need to send for you? Well, we have, I would say, three identical letters to send to three different individuals. Slave. You have to tell them. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, uh, he just leans in. A man chooses. A slave obeys. You get that yeah, one. Get a golf club. What? <laughs> Would you kindly punch your friend in the... No, I'm sorry. Uh, you've never played Bioshock? No. Okay. Okay, so that whole thing that just happened didn't happen. <laughs> okay. I, I'm sorry, I'm so lost. <laughs> uh, anyways, we'd like to send three letters to... Um, individual, an individual known as... One, in, one letter to an individual known as Minfilia one known as Thancred, and one known as Papalimo. 
I could fight him. We had faith that you could. One gold each. All right. What? That's not where I write the gold. <laughs> it's a weird place to write your gold. It is. All right, three gold it is. And if you give me a moment, I'll draft up the letters. And basically, I will write three identical letters that outline... Um, but not in too specific a terms, because Millie doesn't trust the circle completely. Basically saying, we believe we have interacted or ran into a group of beings that refer to themselves as the Assians. However, or as the Assians, and some of our number, or some of our group appears to have caught their specific attention. However, we have been unable to find any definitive information on them other than that they are ancient and powerful. Do you have any information about them or leads you could point us in the direction of? Is that a letter that you wrote or are you dictating that to the Google? No, I'm writing it myself. Okay. Yeah, that because that way I'm not spouting it to the whole <laughs> inn. I'm just, I'm writing it in triple Everybody's hit. like listening. <laughs> like, why are they talking about those ass <laughs> <I> hands? <laughs> yeah. SAS, like those YouTubers? Uh, sorry. Um, yeah, alright. Um, so, okay. Which one goes to which? You didn't write their names. Take your pick. They're identical. Identical letters. Sounds a little bit odd, but okay. Um, yeah. And they also say uh, we are located at the um, Ophiotaurus Keep in uh, Shirogane? What's the region? Hingashi. Hingashi. Uh, what? Uh, oh. <laughs> you don't want everyone to be in the know? I am in. Yep. Um, um, yeah. Dad. No trash for you. <laughs> but I suppose while we have your spinning ear, um, how might we employ one of your kind? to at least establish a post at our keep. Wait, you actually want to pay us? It, or oh my God, goods or services. <laughs> what are you not understanding? I'm fine. All right, so... Um, Blink twice if enslaved. <laughs> <laughs> Blink 14 times. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> He's seven times enslaved. <laughs> I can get word that you're looking to the post Moogles Union. And they're enslaved, but they're unionized. Kind of good for you. Yeah. Hmm? I said good for you. I said union. Union. Good for you, yep. <laughs> Sometimes I can't tell if you're in on the joke or, or whatever you're in. Soul stands up, and he just teleports. And <laughs> nobody ever sees him again. It teleports into the sea. Yeah, just. He just jumps out the nearest window. He just ah! I can't do this anymore. <laughs> so, so, so who's your new character? <laughs> Soul comes back as an Asian. Soul comes back as the person he landed on after jumping through the window. <laughs> Some dude just fell on me. <laughs> Soul died, yeah. but he lived. <laughs> Suddenly, everyone says Lala fell. Um, oh my god, if everybody in your group was a Lala fell, that would be so great. <laughs> Oops, all Lala fells. Yes. <laughs> yeah. um, so, uh, letter to the union, or word yeah. to the union. Yeah. I'll take care of it. All right. They'll come uh, visit you at your castle. Ominous again, but okay. It was meant to be. Okay, Koopa, Koopa, Koopa! And he spins around faster and faster and faster. No, he just disappears. Some weird shit. Souls Maybe we need to go back to Pete and get some of those drugs because that was weird. <laughs> I, I feel like I already took them. <laughs> You've got a little bit of sand in your teeth. <laughs> All right. Well, um, is there anything else you want to do in town here before we uh, head back? Eh, not especially. I mean, I think we've... I have faith that Deus will get the information we need about how to get to uh, Charlian from wherever we are to get to there. And then we've got the messages out. 
I left them a little bit vague, just in case. Uh, well, cause you're not, you haven't met the circle, but we're kind of divided on how we feel about them. Deus and I didn't quite trust them. Felt they were a little, uh, little on the shady side. Oh. But at the same time, having worked near Valens for the past two months. Um, oh, and Valens was directly opposed to the circle. Valens calls them terrorists, which, having now that I know Valens, is a point in the circle's favor of not asshole re, but it's honestly, it's, it's who's to say. They're very secretive, hence the uh, circle of knowing. Secretive lot. Uh, but we're, where we're torn, because Sid Garland, um, the one who was writing in the... Uh, oh, have you met Sid Garland? Yeah, I met him a couple times, I'm pretty sure. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. I couldn't remember. Memory's still a little jumbled. It's a lot bouncing around in there. Um, Garland said that they were uh, troublemakers. Valen said they were terrorists. They refer to themselves more in more positive terms, so... And they did begrudge... Or, well, they did save our lives when fighting some giant toad monsters. So, it's kind of... A little wishy-washy, but leaning more towards the circle being trustworthy. So, basically oh. I told them that we've had some dealings with the Asians. They seem to have taken interest in some of our group, but I didn't specify that it was you and I that they had an interest in. Um, and then to, if they had any informa information or could point us in the direction of more information, to send word to our keep. Okay, well, I mean, if Valence doesn't like them, that's definitely a point in their favor. I mean, yeah, I definitely feel much stronger about that now that I've... Well, thankfully, Xenos was a lovely buffer from dealing with him, but he is the highest-ranking twat in the world, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Where's Twat Barton when you need him? Yeah, sounds <laughs> about right. Okay, what well... Legion uh, were you again? Hmm? What Legion were you again? I was 14? Right? You were the 8th, right? Yeah, because you were the 8th. 8th Legion. Yeah, eighth Xenos Legion. is the... Yeah, sorry. 11? 12? 12? The 14th is Valens. Where did I write that? I'm glad that you can remember all of this so well. Yeah, okay, there we go. 12, yeah. Yeah, because you were originally a different Legion, and then that was slightly... Yeah, yeah. Anyway, the they went to Garly and uh, Chain Links. Yep. I like it. The what? Uh, on the organization part of the character sheet. Ah, the so here's, here's the fun thing. That Garlian symbol, flag. you can't see it on there, but the middle one is red. <laughs> nice. The, the whole yeah, point, usually I print The whole point of the Garly and that their their symbology is that they're stronger together. They are all links in the chain, and they're bound by blood. That's why the middle one's red. I think that's really cool. Oh yeah, no that when that was explained, that was, I love oh, that part. Yeah. Bound by blood, huh? Yep. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, there's there's a point in Endwalker when you go to Garlemald, and it's one of the best parts of the mm -hmm. entire expansion. It's absolutely so good. And heartbreaking. Did the uh, did the eighth have a lot to deal with the fourteenth, or were you uh, blessedly? not forced to interact with Valens that much. Uh, didn't interact with them too much, but any interaction was too much in my estimation, honestly. <laughs> That's valid. The last, uh, big... Shit. Oh my god, I just lost my train of thought. Choo-choo! The eighth. I got thrown off by Kevin. God, what was he talking about? Tour? Oh, God. Yeah, the last tour that I was on, uh, unfortunately, had to deal with uh, Valens and his crew, and um, part of the reason why I wanted to go out of the Garlean military. I could certainly see why. I'm eternally grateful that in the short time I spent with them, I had the protective buffer of the one person in all of the Garlean military that Valens can't try to boss around being any to keep us shielded from him to an extent. So that's made a big difference. Yeah. But, yeah. Luckily, I think we can trust Zenos, but... I mean, I'm a little concerned that he was talking to his dead-but-not-dead Asian grandfather. Um, but... I don't know if we need to... I still... I'm inclined to give him the benefit of the doubt in that, because he's, he's done right by us at every step of the way, and he took me in when I needed help um, so I mean I think yeah I'd like to hope that whatever it's more him looking to take advantage of 
soulless, I don't even know what to call it, a soulless Emmet, um, than the other, and then to let himself be taken advantage of, or, or worse, even twisted to the older one's means, but... Well, I think just because he's talking to Asians doesn't mean he's bad. Just, that's my personal opinion. Because um, who knows? Who knows why these Asians are talking to anybody? Yeah, honestly. I mean, that's that's fair. We didn't really get much of a peek into their motivations when they had pulled you into that dream or unintentionally pulled me into the dream, which still hasn't been... I mean, I haven't had a dream about it since, and it's a little weird. <laughs> um, me neither. Yeah, definitely haven't. Especially for people as old as they are to be taken so by surprise at my presence in their dream sequence. It's definitely intriguing. I mean, maybe, maybe it's something to do with the fact that they're not usually messing with the minds of Fae at the time, so that could add something to do with it. Like, you know, crossed wires because different magical makeups and ether and all that, but. <sighs> I think you're onto something there. Yeah. Interesting. Actually. We haven't really had a chance to talk since the um, ritual, but let me know if you see that symbol in my eyes again that sh you both mentioned, or, well, the not cataract symbol that the three of you mentioned during that process, because that's, I mean, at least at the times you described it showing up, I certainly didn't feel that it was there, um, whereas the other things that came up during the ritual were a little more aware to me now in hindsight interesting okay so uh, yeah probably me, something to keep an eye out for let me know if you see uh the symbol yourself too because uh yeah i think we something we need to be wary about i'll just turn up the vainness to 11 and just walk around with a hand mirror at all times yeah. to see if it shows up well i just meant in general <laughs> i know i know okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just bend, just like, I'm gonna sit like this now. It looks uh, so comfy. No. But, um, hmm, alright, well, uh, I guess then should we head back to the keep and see what Deus has been able to garner out of, uh, Sid? Yes, I guess we should get back to the keep and, uh, see what Kevin's been up to, too. He did ran off, so I hope he's not wandering around the village trying to find us this whole time. Flash sideways, where's Kevin? <laughs> Uh, Kevin is at the bottom of the keep, uh, like the front, like the front door-ish area, like where you walk up, just waiting for them to come back. Okay. So, uh, but after it took a while, he would have gone back in and checked with Deus. Hey, hey, what's up, Deus? You, you finished packing? Oh yeah, Kevin. Uh, Cosette and I just finished, and uh, we're coming down to the stage our our gear. Are you ready to go? Well, I, I, know I still got a pack, but I was going through with my plan, who's the daddy, and uh, I think it's going successfully. Yeah, but I gotta go pack. Uh, did you get in contact with the professor? Yeah. Right, right. Remember, well, let's remember the, the thing of Saul being the, you know, the, the, the stepfather to uh, to Millie. Well, not the oh. stepfather, the father that stepped up. You know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Now I understand what you're talking about. I, okay, I thought, I thought, okay, I thought it was just like a figurative thing you were talking about, not like actually like a, so like he's gonna like a doctor or something. Yeah, it's like best case scenario. Yeah. Oh okay. All right. Well. Okay. Well, you know, this is a little silly, but I always thought that like maybe we could like adopt Millie and raise her. I, I mean, uh, but I, uh, uh, the professor, you said you were going to talk to the professor, right? Yeah, I was going to talk to the professor. Hey, did, did you get in touch with the professor? Oh, yeah, yeah, I did get in touch with the professor. He uh, told me where uh, we need to go. We need to go to Limsa Lamissa. Oh, no, not, not Limpy Meniscus again. Isn't that the place with all the pirates? Yeah, it is the place with the pirate. So we might run into Sherman's uh, husband. That's right. Sherman's husband was the pirate. Ugh. Hey, did you tell the professor that we were going there? Yeah. Yes, that's that's how why he gave me the directions to. Oh the place. well. Well, you think uh, Sherman was gonna freak out if we're going there? 
No, I don't think so. I mean, she, she she's, she's the one that knows where it was at. He had to ask her, so uh, I don't think no. she would freak out. Otherwise, she wouldn't have told us in the first place, right? Yeah, I guess so. Um, uh, okay, well, uh, I best go pack. When are we supposed to be leaving? As soon as everyone gets back. But, hey, I thought you were going with, uh, uh, like, Sol and Millie at least to get the mochi. Didn't you get the mochi? Well, no, that's, that's the plan. Who's your daddy? Yeah, my, my big yeah. idea, Dean, was was to, uh, you know, uh, get them together so they could just have some bonding time. And, they, you know, I don't think Billy would just want to go with Sol all alone. And I don't know how Sol was feeling, but he seemed okay with uh, the idea. And I winked at him so he knew what was going on. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Well, then that, that explains everything. He's in, he's in charge now. Right. Uh, but to tell you the truth, I mean, it did cross my mind uh, that, you know, maybe we could, uh, you know, uh, with uh, Millie and, and uh, you know, adoption thing. And uh, But, you know, uh, the, there's things going on and such. And, uh, oh, man, I really got to prove. Oh, I'll talk to you in a bit, Deesh. Oh, okay. Bye, Kevin. Sika said he always needs to run off and do that all the time, ever since he read that book. About Constitution? I guess that made him a real go-getter. Go, go, get him! <laughs> yes, you have such a way with words, Cassette. Ah, ah, thank I you. I was as eloquent as you. I heard elephant. <laughs> Wait, what did you just say? I wish I was his wife. Eloquent. Eloquent. Yeah, he thought I, I heard elephant. elephant. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Stompy! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so Cassette, what do you what, what do you think about that idea about uh, us adopting Millie, right? Because then, uh, you know, she'll be my sister. I mean, my daughter. I mean, my sister. Why are you what? <laughs> Isn't a she a little words. old for adoption? Well, I guess so, but she's still an orphan, right? But too old for adoption. I mean, you could still be, you could still be her big sister. You don't oh, need yeah, a paper for that. Well, that's true. You, papers get lost. Right? And then you have to go through the whole trouble of notarizing them and finding a notary and getting a witness and making sure the bank's open. It's a hassle. Wow, that sounds very complicated when you put it that way. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, then let's just have it like a, a firm handshake with the way Kevin likes to do deals. Yeah, I mean, I was adopted, and I, it was not a very smooth transaction. Really? From what I've heard, I mean, I was, I was, I was there, but I wasn't, you know, part of the, part of the behind the scenes process. But I was just a baby. Oh, yeah. They, well, they probably have to keep babies away from the paperwork. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Notary stamp pacifier. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> keep the babies away from the paperwork for adoption. <laughs> Man, it scored us two rounds. Oh, nice. Damn, nice. <laughs> My condolences. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, sorry, Alex. <laughs> text Diana. I'm so glad you're here. Right now. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you care about the picture, you? <laughs> You guys come back? Yeah, I, mean, I think we're just pooping back at that point. <laughs> Kevin's also pooping. That's a little bit different. Yeah, we don't want to be around for that. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? I said with Kevin pooping, we don't want to be around for that. Yeah, valid. Yeah, 100%.
much I think you should leave. Because every time you post one of those gifts, I'm like, what the fuck is the context for this? <laughs> okay, Kevin's walking out of the bathroom and heading back to the front of the castle. Oh, uh, Millie, uh, Soul, uh, you're back. I was waiting out in the front for you, and uh, uh, how'd things go? Well, we had... It took a second, but we found the post Mughal, and I sent letters to some members of the Circle, uh, asking for more information on the Assians and letting them know that they've been messing around with us and taking some interest in our group. Uh, I kept oh, it a little vague because I don't, still fully don't trust them, but at least enough to get their interest peaked, and hopefully they'll share some information if they have any, or point us in the right direction if they do know somewhere uh -huh. else they find it. Um... And then I also, I guess, put in a formal request to get a Moogle for our keep here, which will... What? Say the, the Moogle that I spoke to will talk uh, to I, the post... Wait, 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 wait. I don't want any other Moogles uh, co coming into our keep. We're, we should be the only Moogles here. Moogle, the little fuzzy critters with the floating thing that spin in circles and send mail... Nope, never seen one. They, yes, we have. One showed up when we were at the East Aldenar Trading Company. I don't even know what that is. The Hancock's place in Kugane, where we were all hiding in the basement. No, I would never hide. Yeah, I just want to more know more about uh, you guys' trip. Was it good? Uh, did you guys get your mochi? No, but we got coffee of questionable authenticity. Oh, uh, but you had a good time? I got a good bonding session, you one might say? Authenticity is coffee. Yeah, we had a good little rant about uh, how one of the Garlean Leggets is kind of a twat. Yeah, yeah, I hear you on that. Oh, I, I talked to Deej. Apparently we need to go to uh, Olympia Meniscus. Uh, to, to, it's where we're, that's where that city is. I tap in my shoulder popped out with something. <laughs> you know, the pirate means... city? Limpy meniscus? Right. Limsa Liminsa. Yeah, what'd I say? Close enough. Uh, well, that shouldn't be too hard to get to. We've all been to... Um... Fuck, name just one. Limpy meniscus? One... The Shroud? Oh, the... Gridania. Gridania, thank you. We've all been to Gridania before, and that would have a connection to Limsa Liminsa if we needed to get there, or Ulda, whatever our preference was. Alright, so, uh... But that might be a little tumultuous at the moment. Well, if it's mulch we're talking about, uh, I know a lot about mulch. Yeah, mulch Too much mulch, you're right. Too much mulch is, is, is not good. Alright, uh, let, me, let me rephrase. Ulda or Gridania are probably our easiest bets to find a passage from those either of those two cities to get to Limsa Liminsa if we need to book passage at sea. Got it. Right. Hey, hey, but we gotta watch out for pirates. Right. Oh, hey, 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 remember Sherwin's uh, husband. One of them. Anyway. Uh, okay, well, I'm glad you all had a good time, but we gotta get packing. D says we gotta get out soon. Oh, all right. I guess if we're in a rush. Um, I mean, were, were you all packing while we were out in the city? Uh, no, I haven't packed yet. I was waiting for you guys for a while, and uh, since you never showed up, I figured, uh, you know, I'd go see how things were, and uh, that's what I found out. And then, uh, you know, talk, talk to Deej, and, uh, uh, had to go, uh, you know, to the bathroom, and, uh, now, now I'm talking to you. Alright, well, I guess then we're back, but, uh, Why'd you run off back to the castle instead of going to Kugane with us like you said you would? Oh, um, uh, because I forgot my thing. The thing I wanted to bring with me. And uh, I thought it was important and I uh, forgot it. So I went back to go get it. And then uh, I kind of forgot while I was coming back. And then I just, I was waiting for y'all. And then I ran into Deej. I guess that tracks in a Kevin kind of logic. Um, well, I guess then we'll go pack ourselves and then 
figure out which city we want to go to. Yeah, hey, you know what? Who I heard was really good with packing. I heard Saul's really good with packing since he's been in the military. Maybe he'd help you out. <laughs> right, Saul? Maybe. Wink. They do train us to pack our <laughs> in a specific way so that they're easily transportable. I'm honestly surprised you knew that much about Garlean basic training, but yeah, it would it would be something that Saul has experience with. I hear they also teach you how to pack heat. That one's definitely true. Well, well, if you pack heat, wouldn't it catch things on fire? That's the point, Kevin. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. Uh, okay, that makes no sense. But, uh, yeah, and Saul even told me about that they get to go on tours of the military, and you get to kill people on some of them. How awesome is that? I mean, I wasn't all about this military, but now I'm thinking it's not so bad of an idea. I'd, I'd rather not. I think I've... Yeah, I'm good on that front, but I'll go see if Soul can help pack, I guess. Right! Good job, Soul. Great packer! Wink! <laughs> I guess Kevin wants us to go around and help people pack more efficiently. I mean, it's not like we all have foot lockers, so I don't know what exactly he expects us to do. Well, you Actually, know, now that you yeah. mentioned it, I do have a locker, or a, a trunk, but I've had that for a while. Well, you know Kevin, he says a lot of things, so uh, let's just do it and uh, get it over with. I guess, I mean, if we want, I can... I, I got that portable hole that we got out of... Um, Omega's loot, so I could just put all our stuff in there. It's basically just like a big pot, uh, pit in the ground that we can put stuff in. I can fold it up, oh. keep it in my pocket. It's very useful because that way I don't have to lumber uh, carry around a big old backpack anymore. I actually gave it to Tavi, the the old backpack that I had, so he can get more use out of it. Soul's just gonna hand his pack to Millie then. Yeah, and then she basically reaches into a fold in her outfit um, and pulls out what looks like a. Uh, like a handkerchief if it was a complete void of color and then unfolds it to about like a six foot diameter circle and throws it on the ground and then you can look into it and it's basically just like a uh, Bugs Bunny cartoon style pit on the ground there's she's got her uh, a trunk full of stuff in there um, a mound of gold which is the group fund because it's like 27,000 gold um, and assorted other things and just plops your pack in there, and then grabs the corner of it and folds it back up and then tucks it away. Oh, we gotta keep an eye on that. Uh, don't <laughs> certainly don't, certainly don't want to lose it, but I think yeah. it's it's honestly pretty neat. Oh yeah, that's amazing. I mean, and also, even if, uh, if we really needed to, we could hide in it. Um, there's, a certain, there's at least uh, a, an amount of air in there for like 10 minutes or so. Okay, well, but, good to know. Yeah. Honestly, I think it's one of the niftiest things we found since we got to this world. Um, but back in the back. Go ahead and that. Yeah. <laughs> I see that Mike logged on just because he saw that we scored and he wanted to rub it in on Alex. Ow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing. <man. laughs> He's going to town on your foot. <laughs> my favorite thing because I do that to my dog all the time she'll like start biting on my hand and I just shove my hand into her mouth and I'm like this is what you wanted <laughs> I don't know what to do now <laughs> why is he so cute you just born that way you're cute too I guess I'll go make rounds and gather everyone's pack and just put it in the the hole Put it in the hole. Yep. Millie learned some things in the Baywild. <laughs> She's grown up so fast. Um, Did you have the talk with her? No. <laughs> She's already had the talk. Hell yeah, that's true. Sherman handled that. Did she? Oh, that's like right. a boss. Yeah, there was no misunderstandings at all on anyone's part in that conversation. <laughs> Man, it's a good thing that we're nowhere near East Palestine, Ohio right now, because my train of thought's gotten derailed. <laughs> Too soon? There's a reference I'm not getting in there. East Palestine is where that big kind of truck crashed and poisoned, like, oh, the geez. water supply. Oh, jeez. Oh, That was, like, last year. <laughs> no, yeah, I heard about that. I just didn't know. I didn't recognize the name yeah, at first. No, that might have been too soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, okay, so, you guys are packing up. Yeah, Millie's going door to door, just 
Knock, knock, knock. Get your stuff. Who's in the courtyard right now? Uh, I think uh, Deus and Toset are down there. Okay. And, uh, well, you would walk by us when you came in, too, right? Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. But yeah. you guys are going door to door at the moment. Yeah, yeah, just Millie is. Yeah, okay. just together. So you're packs. in the courtyard? Yeah, let's say. Kevin and Tavi, are you in the courtyard? Uh, packing. Okay, packing. Tavi? Uh, hold up. Hey, Actually, no, I'm it. in the courtyard now because Kevin doesn't have anything really in the back. So he'd be, he'd be waiting with me. He'd be waiting with DJ and uh, Cosette in the courtyard, or whoever else is there. Tommy, what did you say? Eric? Did you say be right back? Well, yeah, it sounded like on. he did. Yeah, it Yeah. What would be um, what closer to Kugane, or to our keep rather, uh, Gridania or Ulda? Uh, closer to Ingachi? Yeah. Technically, I mean, Ulda's landlocked. So, if you're talking direct Malms, it would be Ulda, but if you're talking actual ease of access, it'd be Gridania. Because no air, no airships fly between. Right, uh, but if we're if we're going as the Moogle flies, it would be <laughs> Ulda. Yeah, because that's going to affect the Etherite cost. As the true bill flies. Yeah, yeah. Plus we'll lose empty because they'll try to blow up the casino. That's true. It's if like an might, Ocean's Eleven heist, if, but if, we're if you bomb. Get, if you actually have to go out of your way to get to the gold saucer. Mm. All right, so then we will. Prepare for teleportation to Ulda specifically. Okay, it's slightly uh, cheaper. As you're in the courtyard, you just hear a pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop in the courtyard. And suddenly there are five Moogles just in the courtyard. Oh no! No, what? Are these little things? I thought. I think I've seen these someplace before. Koopal, that's Koppel, that's Coggle, that's Kugel, and that's Koop. Yeah, Koopal, Cockle, Kugel, Coggle, and Koop. Wow. <laughs> they all wave at Kevin like this. Hey, you guys are just so cute. Uh, I don't mean to be rude, but uh, I think you're just so cute. Um, thank you. We are told that you want um, well, we were kind of eavesdropping when you mentioned us by name, but we were told and listened that you want to get a post Moogle for this location. So we've been sent here by the Moogle Council to uh, investigate you and it. We didn't Ooh. do it. Yeah, I, I didn't do anything. I've never killed a Moogle before. I mean, you're just too cute. I would never kill a Moogle. Who said anything about killing? You did. Sounds like it's No, I didn't. Okay, Wait, I'm confused. Why are you going to investigate us? Did we do something wrong? Well, I mean, not yet that we know of, but that's why we need to investigate. We have to make sure that this oh. is a safe place for a post Moogle. I'll hear the, uh, whoa, whoa. the commotion and then just, like, fucking book it to the courtyard <laughs> before <laughs> something goes terribly wrong. Oh, yeah! Okay. Like, <laughs> nope, 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 nope. <laughs> yeah, come on in. Uh, this place is super safe. I mean, did you see our tree protectors out in the front? They're all around this place, keeping us safe. And... Uh, yeah, yeah. And then the inside, we have a guy that, that is a professional at setting traps. So uh, just don't step on any of the confetti traps that are currently set up. That was for a party we threw last night. Confetti traps? And one of the moogles actually jumps down onto the ground to land on one of the traps and then yeah. giggles as it explodes. Nice. <laughs> right? Kind of cool, right? Yes. Well, hey, come on in. Yeah. post moogle. We're not done looking around yet. <laughs> <laughs> Millie runs out panting to catch up with this. It's like, hi. Yes, I put in the request for the post Moogle post. Are you always out of breath like this? It's a little weird. When he gets the first word in, yes. 
points to Kevin. <laughs> okay, they have odd rules at the castle. Write that down. Okay. Hey, uh, Millie, you're, you're you're blowing it with the moogles. Uh, if if they think everything's fine, they get to stay here. Right. Well, I mean. Well, it's yes. <laughs> Whoa. Let's not jump out of our wings here. There's a there's an entire process. We just have to make sure that this is a suitable place for a post moogle. That doesn't mean that you're approved. Understandable. What uh, what qualifications are you looking for? No, no, we're moogles, not koalas. We'll get it back. And then they just <laughs> spread out amongst the, ca the castle, and they're just like looking over every nook and cranny. But they move like with ridiculous speed. <laughs> Anyone else find it a little weird just how everything the Mughals are? They're lightning fast, they can seemingly teleport, they hear everything. It's a little unnerving. A, new, a Moogle appears next to your ear. Why is that unnerving? <laughs> no reason. <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't know. I, I think they're super cool and super cute and, 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 and they spin. Yep. What was that? I think they're super cool and cute, and they spin around. I mean, yeah, I think they're just the cutest little things. Right? And then the Moogle just flies around Kevin's head over and over and over for, like, a minute until you get dizzy. I fall on the ground laughing like a little child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Adultness. <laughs> it's actually adorable. Uh, the Moogles all appear. Poop, 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 poop. They pop back up. Um, not poop back up, sorry. Um, and the, all right, castle looks all right. Seems safe enough. I do have a question, and pulled out a giant mace. Why is this in the bathroom? Oh, that's my pooping mace. You know, uh, sometimes... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I... Uh, Sometimes, you know, when you're, you're sitting there bored on the toilet, and I seem to be there a lot, you know, you want to keep training and swing things. That, what? <laughs> you know, uh, to make sure you stay strong, you know, there's not much to do while you're sitting on a toilet. You know, you get st stuck in your thoughts and in your head, and I hate to be stuck in my head. I mean, it's a scary place. So, uh, you know, uh, sometimes it's good to, like, get some swinging practice in. I see. Um, no more questions. <laughs> uh, okay, so the Moogles are like, we are ready to give our report. To, to us? Or? Oh, no, to the Moogles. Oh, okay. Oh, dang it. Well, uh, when did we get to know if we, if we succeeded or not? Oh, I can tell you now. Uh, okay, yeah. I don't want to. Oh. Yeah, what, what if I... Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a jokester among the Moogles. They all think that's hilarious when I do that. Well, I, I mean, it would be funny, but I just want one of you to be here. I think Jim thinks you're so cool, and I don't want to ruin it. Well, I am cool. Thanks for noticing. Uh, we none of us are going to be your post moogles, by the way. It'd be somebody completely different. And if they get assigned, I have to apologize. They've got kind of a dry sense of humor. Dry sense of humor. I do have somebody in mind. Anyway, we're going to give our recommendation to the council that they allow you to have a post moogle. Yeah! Yeah! The the That's awesome! And I go to give them high fives. One of them uses his palm to high five you. Hey, yes! What? Back it up a little. What kind of trial are you talking about? Trial by combat against the king, King Mughalmug the 14th, and his retinue. Wait, 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 wait. I, I, fight one of you. I don't want to fight any of you. You're too cute. I could never injure one of you. Too late. You already put in the request, and now there's nothing we can do about it. Does everyone have to fight the king? Yeah, not to our death, by the way. Just oh, okay. Maybe you are, not ours. Well, maybe maybe it's, maybe it's a cultural thing. Uh, you guys have weird rules. When you say fight, what do you mean? Um, using weapons, going to combat, hitting each other with those weapons and spells until 
people fall over usually the people we're fighting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that definitely sparring. sounds like... Like a sparring competition. With death at the end. Hmm. Hmm. For you, not us. Better grab that. If you lose. Nice. I mean, that doesn't seem like a post moogle would be worth it then if we have to risk our lives for it. <laughs> oh, you've never had a post moogle then. Well, okay, well. Uh, we haven't. And we have to fight the king, you said, right? And his right hand, yes. Okay, and is the king, like, in his right hand, are they as cute as you are? Uh, well, I mean, I was voted seven centuries in a row as cutest moogle, but, uh,. Yeah, I guess the king's pretty cute. Seventh century, so you're 70 years old? A little bit more than that. Well, I don't want to fight y'all. Uh, no, it just seems like... like... <laughs> Wait. It's, so I don't have to kill you, though. If we fight you, we don't have to kill you, right? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Well, I'm always up for a fight, then. Is it always trial by combat to get a post moogle? I mean, unless there's a special dispensation award in, but yeah. Is there a way to get a special dispensation as opposed to having to fight? Oh, you would have had to do that before you agreed to have us check out your castle and go through this process. Yeah, now we can't really stop. Hmm. Seems fair. Out of curiosity, then, who fought on behalf of, like, Kugane or Gridania to get their post moogles? Oh, we don't really give that information about our clients, but I'll just tell you. It was the Seki Sugumi for Kugane, and the Wood Whalers fought on behalf of Gridania. Hmm. Most of them made it out. Oh. And it's not like we're trying to kill you, it just sometimes happens. In a world without Link Pearls, I guess your services are all the more in demand. Oh, yeah, you have no idea. We actually gave you guys a little bit of a, a jump to the head of the line because we think you're kind of interesting and weird, but, like, 18 people have, uh, or, or 18 different organizations have asked for a post move on last week. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, some place about a square of knowing or something like that. I don't know. Wait, wait, the circle of knowing? Oh, that might be it. Yeah, yeah, well, oh, I mean, uh, uh, never mind. I'm not supposed to talk Sorry, about the circle of knowledge. I sent letters through Koopa Cop to get to the circle. Koopa Cop still owes me ten bucks. You do that? Deer. Because we bet on deer. Duh. Makes about as much sense as anything else. Well, I'm glad okay. you agree. Anyway, well, when we contacted by Post Moogle when you're ready for your trial. Bye bye. Bop, 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 bop. Bye. Oh, those guys were super cute and fun. One too many pops. There was an invisible one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for counting. <laughs> nice. Oh, well, I guess that's interesting. Um, that's a, certainly a thing that's happened now. I don't worry. I'm sure it'll be fine. I mean, eh, how much damage could a cute little moogle do? I, I don't think they're that dangerous. Well, I mean, as a point of reference, Harry was a wood whaler, so if they're capable of killing people of approximate strength to Harry, that's not something to scoff at. Wait, they killed Harry? No, 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 but Harry was a wood whaler before he drunkenly retired. Um... So I'm just saying, as a point of comparison, if all the Wood Whalers are around as competent as Harry is, and then these Mughal fighters and their king killed some of that number, they are at least strong to a certain degree. Yeah, well, uh, maybe. But uh, I don't think it's going to be too tough. Yeah, I bet Kevin can handle it. I think so, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if anybody's going to be in a fight, uh, I would pick Kevin to do it, so... Don't! Oh, Thanks again, so! First, but... well, yeah, if anyone would be a good father, I'd pick you, so... I'm just trying to be a uh, authority figure, you know? Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, Mayor Fatherly. Yeah, someone I you're someone I would totally look up to. Wink, wink, wink. Soul's winking. I mean, he's, he's standing behind Melly, and he's like, "Should I pick her right now?" No, <laughs> no, 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 not yet, not yet, no, not yet. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I just had an itch on uh, my fist. Yeah, right yeah, just an itch. Yeah, yeah. yeah can you yeah, come down? Yeah, okay, yeah, I think just soul saying some really good things, and I think he's a really good person to look up to. You know, if I was young, I wish I had someone in my life like that. going to have to be tall. It's kind of hard not to look up to him. Yeah, it, 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 that's true. That's true. I'm just saying, you know, uh, a lot of good qualities in soul. I mean, you can't forget, as Kevin points out, I'm very old as well. Very old. He's basically ancient. I mean, forty. You said you're, you're forty. Is that what it is? Yes. I mean, old by your standards, but. I'm just saying, Al Kevin says that I am near to death. And very close to death. Somebody's thinking up on soul right now with an axe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're probably the closest person to death out of our entire group if we weren't fighting. You never know when that old age will sneak up on you. Yeah, wouldn't it be nice, so if you had someone, uh, maybe a little younger, that can help you out in your old days? Yeah, somebody I could teach my ways to, to carry them on. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea, so. Hmm, I wish we had someone here. Anyway. Well, I mean, if you're looking for someone young and possibly impressionable yeah. to... yeah. Eat your ways, because that's probably a good thing. Nope. Knew it. No. <laughs> I think she's the youngest in our group at the moment. Okay, well, I'll go check with Cassette, but I think uh, I think she's uh, oh, she might probably do. I'm pretty sure. Well, actually, it might be a toss-up between Days and Cassette as to which one's actually the youngest. She's 24. Oh, I'm 24. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I don't know which month it was. I'd have to check. <laughs> but yeah, I th I'm pretty sure they're both around the same age, so one of them is... I mean, if you're looking for a young protege, that'd be where to start. No, well, you know, I'm just saying, uh... Yeah, I, I th I'm just... Yeah, maybe, maybe, that's, that's a good that's a good thought. Yeah. 19. I'm just saying, maybe, maybe you just keep your options open. So maybe, uh, you know, someone in our group, uh, you know, who's young, might, might step up and then try to help that out at some point. Well, that's not how say. For young people to, you know, finding that older authority figure to to bond to it certainly certainly helps yeah no, i think you're right I, I definitely think you're right Millie. that's like you know what you just put a pin in that i looked at the server <laughs> pardon me but uh what the fuck is going on here nothing right what's going on with you Ken? some sort of uh, apprenticeship apprenticeship program for the Younger members of the group, and well, namely Cassette and Deus, I guess they're in need of mentorship of some kind. What's yeah, um, well, uh, uh, what's the uh, smart I'll guy's name from Ken's group? Isamu. Right. Yeah. Isamu. Or your. So uh, did did we get drunk and get a battle plan from Isamu? <laughs> nope. <laughs> did we need a battle plan from him? I think that was Tavi's. Tavi and Kenji were working Tommy on. Tavi and Kenji were oh, trying to do that. Plan, yeah. No, you guys just ended up drinking. <laughs> what was um the young orphan's name who lost her brother? Oh, uh, Cora. Cora. Gosh, yeah, you're so good at this. <laughs> you came up with the name. <laughs> you came up with the name. I mean, I suppose oh, no. Tavi, you did. You're right, Ruby. Was. So Cora is Ken was, sober? Yeah. No. I don't think so. I think you're both drunk. Yeah, you guys got drunk. You just didn't go find Misamu. All right. Uh, Genji, let's go get, um, wait, I don't, I don't want to be like Kevin. Is wait, what? Da Isamu. Yeah, let's go get him. Wait, 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 do you guys pack? We're leaving in like a few minutes. Where are we going? We're heading to Gridani, or, uh, sorry, not Gridani, it's uh, Ulda, so that we can then go to, uh, Charlian, but we had to catch a boat out of Limsa Limsa first. And I think it's yeah, we... Do you saying he wanted to burn down the gold saucer while we're there? I feel like that's just given at any point, but we're thankfully not going close enough that he can do anything, really. Man, I would have liked to see that. All right, well, uh, so much for the battle plan, I guess. I think Thanks. we're going to put off Kato for a minute while we 
get sober and figure out something else that we're doing. We yeah, just worked so flipping hard to get like this. I know. Wait. It'll take us a while to get sober, though. Maybe a couple of weeks. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Just give me a couple cups of black coffee. I should be all right. Oh, well, actually, we know a guy over in uh, uh, Kugane. Uh, Pete sells coffee. coffee? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh Pete's coffee? Great. Pete? Yeah. Pete? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know him. Some uh, higher Pete? kid named Pete. Wait, he a kid? Was he selling uh, like any like like um? Well, I mean, weird I guess things more, like more like a teenager, but I mean, kid compared to any of us. Wait, I, I feel like a new guy named Pete. Like I met a guy named Pete just recently. Like I can't put my finger on it. So this would be a repeat. Well, he did mention is... that uh, some of you ran him out of town, so you moved shop to Kugane <gasps> and mentioned something Where? about specifically not murdering a guy eaten by a fish. Where is he? That means. Where is he? Near the etherite. Sounds like he's in Kugane. All right. I'll be back. Wait, 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 Triple C. We're about to leave. Uh, can't you take care of this next time? You look pretty oh. mad. Uh, you're not supposed to kill people in Kugane. I'm not going to kill anyone. What? And that was yesterday we weren't allowed to kill people. Today, there's no rule that we can't kill no one. I mean, go set you you have your uh your weapon out. I'm just saying. I don't know if you noticed when you pulled it. Doesn't mean I'm gonna kill someone with it. What do you take me for? Ooh, honestly, no. I'm going to go warn the guard. To let the authorities know to go pick up Pete and let him answer for his crimes. No, no, just have him pick him up and, and put him in our in our uh, in our jail, our dungeon, and uh, well, we'll deal with it when we come back. All right, I'll just. just uh, why don't you just have um, Solus can do like a sending to Hancock and tell him to report Pete. <laughs> Right here. Uh, he, the he said a bad word. The hall. Han Hancock works out of Kugane, right? So he'd probably be a good person to to talk to. Oh yeah, well, let's just get Solus to talk to Hancock. Let's just send him to Hancock. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's this? What's this uh, reaction, Solus? I've been sending messages to Hancock all day. I can't do it anymore. Do it at high level. Why? Stuff. Not that I know about magic. Thank you, Kenji. <laughs> so nice of you to bring that up. I, I mean, feel what? your pain. <laughs> you thinking, Ken? You know, this Pete guy, it sounds like he's set up shop. He's probably not going anywhere. I'm sure you can do the sending tomorrow. I think we can get very delicious coffee from him another time. We don't, don't need to bother Pete. Coffee? This he's be trying to He's trying to sell coffee? I think he's, he's successfully selling coffee. Soul bought a cup or two. He's here illegally. Wait, wait, wait. What's oh, coffee? He's, he's no, whoa, there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because that wants to build a wall around Ishgard. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is he, is he getting a legal immigrant? A legal merchant. He's not supposed to be here. He did get approved by any of us to put his stall in and That's he's right. been selling goods that aren't even supposed to be sold and he's a racist little person. No, you can't say that word, remember? You said that was a racist? bad word. You know, stop it! Racist is not a bad word. If racist is not a slur, what he called me was a slur. No, oh, that's I right. Mean, slur was the bad word, not racist. Oh, man, no. you got me to say it. If if he's done all those things, I doubt he's going to last long in Kugane. Well, not if you guys friend. keep stopping me from trying to get him. Now let me go talk to a guard. No, no, no we got to go. And we're going to be late for our ship. So uh, everyone, we got to go to the, 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 the stone. The small problem with your plan, Cassette, is that we're at our keep and he's in Kugane. And our guards are not the Seki Sagumi. It's all right, we'll just the send the Hancock team. tomorrow. <laughs> hey, Hancock, go rat on this guy for us. 
Soul's just been practicing with magic using his bow for years and years and years, and he's been reduced to sending spells. <laughs> I'm an instant messenger, also. <laughs> <laughs> SOL instant messaging. <laughs> SOL. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Well, yes, as long as it gets when, done. What do you to say to <laughs> as long as it gets done, because he was in our place for way too long, taking advantage of the people that we're supposed to take care of. So that just looks really awful on us as leaders. All right. Well, how, how about this? Do you think you could just, well, I, well, what am I saying? I saw him today. I'll... <laughs> <laughs> Draw a little picture real quick, and I'll send it, or I'll show it to all of my tree friends, and if they see him, they'll grab him and toss him in the dungeon, if he shows back up in, in Sasaki Village or our keep. Yes! I'll agree all to right. that. Thank right, you! Give me a few minutes to make up a charcoal drawing real quick, and then I'll just, I'll make a, like a, a police sketch of Pete and spread it around to all the tree guardians <laughs> doing like, uh, arrest on site. <laughs> it's going to be like 12 people in our dungeon. So <laughs> <I'm> Pete. <laughs> it turns out Pete was one of identical uh, what was it? What would 12 be? 12 tuplets, whatever. Tuplets would be 8. Yeah. Dodecatuplets would be 10. Do Dodecatuplets. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Gosh. Wait, isn't that 20? Dodecahedron is 20, right? No, that's okay. Ecosahedron. Never mind. But all right, yeah, so 10 minute delay for sketch and uh, sending <laughs> of arrest warrants. Alex said this is his sketch of Pete. <laughs> 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 that guy. Yes. Y'all seen Pete say, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a, Millie is a very good artist, I'll have you know. Oh, uh, he's Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> is it because the eyes? And the line, the paper line, like straight across his face. Oh yeah, I see out. it. Oh my god, I don't like that it's labeled amateur sketch. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to tell. Yeah. So. In case you were wondering. All right. Well then, without further uh, delay, we can send ourselves off to Ulda. If anybody has any final objections before? We teleport everyone? Uh. Yeah. As long as we nope. so, okay. Alright, then two teleportations to Ulda. And away we go. Uh. Yep. Oh, I thought you hit delete. I'm like, oh, <laughs> delete. <laughs> Alright, so how much etherite fee for Hingashi to 200 Ulta? each. 200 each. There's 10 of us, so that's 2 grand. This is the best way to get rid of Gil, in my opinion. Yeah. Especially for hopping around all over. And poof! Ulda. Okay. Hold on. Plus dragon. <laughs> Oh, is your dragon hanging out with us? It's always with me. Except when we go to um, Kugane, because it was specifically said, don't bring your dragon. Wouldn't it be less expensive to dismiss him and then resummon him? Oh, well, I figured it counts kind of like a familiar to just it get does. us to go with you. You don't have to pay for it. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I don't have to pay for my carbuncles when I get teleported. <laughs> it would just suck if, like, the one class that summons something, like, double ether right fees. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> just because. Just because. Nice. Carbuncle tax. Um, <laughs> Alright, so you end up in Ulda, hence the music. Yeah. Uh, and as you get off of the off of the etherite, after you get out of your teleport, there's, like, a bulletin board in the etherite, and it's got a list of outgoing times and incoming times for airship rides. Um, and there's, oh, yeah. One, yeah. there's one going to Limsa Liminsa leaving in 15 minutes. Huh, well, that's perfect. I wonder if our um, Ishgardian diplomat passes are still valid, given what's happened over there. You look at them, there's an ex expiration date right at it, written in them. <laughs> expiration date, next revolution. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, right. I believe the diplomatic passes were only to and from Ishgard, though. Mm. You guys remember which way we're going? Yeah, it was 
I mean, we've been there before, so it's not very far. Have you been to the Aether Raid, or the, the Aether, um, airship landing in Uldoth? Yeah, because we arrived at the airship landding in Uldoth right. from Ishgard. You're right, you're right, you're right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, um, that is where we'll end for the night on your way to the airship landing, getting ready to head to Limsa Limsa, and I will plan for you guys to be on a boat to Charlian next week. Excellent. Oh, wow. Goodbye, then. 2.0. Was that a clap? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Jimmy. It's smart. From Shadowbringers. Yep. Leviathan two headed. (laughs) Uh, Speaking of Leviathan, that was. uh, I really like this new song from Final Fantasy 16 because the the latest patch um, was Leviathan themed. So this song Mm -hmm. I think is really cool. Yeah, that's. Oh, like you're fighting Leviathan. Hmm. Uh, anyway, that's it for tonight. Thank you for playing, everybody. I had fun. I had a lot of laughs. I hope you all did as well. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Look forward to next week and uh, see what I have in store for you. Sounds great. Thanks, everyone. Have, have a good night. Have Solus uh, send ascending to us when you're ready. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best part of the night, is it getting aspirated and sending. Yeah. All right. Whew. It got real warm in here. Right. Unless that's just me. It's a little toasty. Toasty! Tostitos. Auto square. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, Jimmy. Auto that was good. Yeah, Cerritos, Cerritos, Cerritos auto, auto square. square. Tostitos auto square. Oh, my God. <laughs> weird living where I live, um, anytime I hear the commercials for, like, Hammer Toyota or whatever, I'm like, that's... Is it a Hammer? I think they... I mean, spelled that way, but they pronounce it Hammer, at least in the radio commercials, but it's like, that's right up the street from my house. Ah. At least Mike was able to listen for some of that sh- shenanigans. Yeah. I love these D20s that you got us. They're so oh, good. the eyeball the ones inside? Yeah. That is forever the Perception Tech D20. Oh, oh I love it. Oh, yeah. So what's going to happen with our D&D campaign? Man? What do you do? I was thinking... Uh, Lena had the idea of...